Well, hello again, everyone. It's Nick Michael Ike and my friend Trent Zuberi. Hello. And today we're doing a commentary for The Fugitive with Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. So, guys, if you have your own copy of the film, you can turn on subtitles to kind of follow along with a wonderful plot and sync up your timestamp to zero. And we'll get you synced up to get going. So, in three, two, one, play. Well, here we are. A classic Warner Brothers uh, splash screen sequence. The yeah. studio. When did they add that studio? I remember that wasn't always the thing when they added like the little vision of the studio in there. I think it was like around 2000 or so. I think the yeah. first time I saw it was like Ocean's Eleven, maybe. Yeah, that's a good. That's, yeah, that seems all right. Yeah, you should, you should open with the Warner Brothers logo. Yeah, Andrew Davis film, Chicago yeah. guy. Yeah, but there's a lot of Andrew Davis carryovers in this movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're watching the uh, remastered Blu-ray version, so yeah, which is this not, is going to look really good. Which I've never seen. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Yeah. So let's see. It already looks nice with the uh, title screen. And yeah. And it's an interesting thing. I mean, as good as this film turns out, it's weird that it took... This thing was in, like, development hell for, like, five and a half years. Really? They had, like, nine screenwriters, a whole bunch of different drafts. They couldn't... Are you serious? Oh, Yeah. Because the producer on this, uh, Arnold Kobelson, kept uh, trying to get it going, and and where it was, they couldn't, they couldn't really nail it down to get anyone to greenlight it. No, that's that city uh, scape they're showing here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look how many buildings aren't there yet. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, here's ninety three. Yeah. So there's no Trump building. You know. Yeah. Gosh. Uh, other buildings were named something else at the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they're still. It was still the Sears Tower. Now it's the Willis. I mean, who knows? God. Yeah. yeah, later on we'll see shots of before Millennium Park existed. Yeah, which is interesting. Yeah, you kind of forget what was there. You yeah, know? when you see all these older Chicago films, like... That's fantastic. It, it, it's, it's like a dry wasteland of nothing out there, really. Yeah. It's, it's true. It was basically nothing. I mean, I, I gotta say one thing the Daily Administration did was was a lot of that, you know, beautification of the city, too. That was, that was a big part of that, you know, Millennium Park and just all the development and things like which some people hate also you know it's not always the love thing no no <laughs> i love how authentic they kept that's an andrew davis thing he, he you know yeah the, he, he grew up in chicago right so they kept like you know you had the chicago police cars the guys they were all he used a lot of cops as extras yeah used actual newscasters and whatnot yeah. you know <clears throat> so the wife is Celia ward right that's, yeah that's playing mm -hmm. the wife now yeah what is she from? I've seen her in other things, too. You, you, you've watched House, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was uh, Dr. Right. House's ex That's right. in the series. Because right. I was thinking about that the other, when I was rewatching it the other night. Now, these two these guys... These two guys are total Chicago. The, they're from Chicago. They, they're former cops, I believe, right? Both are... At least one of them is. We, the one the, the one with the hat and the glasses definitely looks like he was a cop. He was a cop. One, I, one or both were cops. The guy on the left, he's actually uh, in The Dark Knight. He was, right, he was the the one of the dirty cops on the Gotham Force. But these two have been in several Andrew Davis movies. I'm, I, I think they were in. They were not a couple of things for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, uh, but they've he's he's cast them, and but they're total Chicago guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, should, we should get their names. I, I mean, I see it all the time. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, I love that Andrew Davis. The only staple was he would use Chicago Memorial Hospital. He would be very good about the details. Yeah. Yeah. He wouldn't just glance over stuff. Yeah. And it wouldn't generalize anything, yeah. which I liked. And notice there was credit for three different editors on this film. Apparently, all this stuff at the beginning of the film was all kind of like intended to be linear. It yeah. wasn't going to be in the flashbacks. It was going to be very much like a straightforward day in the life of this character up to the point where the wife gets killed and all this stuff. And that would have taken half an hour of the film yeah yeah for sure so i mean they literally the thing ran up and they didn't get to the train sequence until about 28 minutes into the film yeah so, okay. so one the one the editor just kind of like took the footage restructured everything to make it all work in a flashback sequence here and everything to just kind of move it forward mm -hmm. he cut her all the the meaningless fat you just get to the point you have to i mean you jump right in yeah because the whole th the, the, their entire thing was like Harrison Ford isn't the fugitive until he's running. Until he's, exactly. he's on the run. So if you don't get to that, you don't have the plot moving anywhere. That's true. He looks good with a beard. I love the beard in this. He looks great. Yeah. He shaves it later, which, which bothered yeah. me. 
It look, works good on him. Yeah. Because uh, I've, I've always seen this uh, piece of interview footage with him with the beard. But he, he's dressed differently, apparently, because while he had the beard, he shot some footage for the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles oh, okay. as an older indie. I got so he used that moment in time when he had this to go off and shoot that because he's wearing like a fedora and kind of a brown jacket and everything. Oh. So I always saw this interview footage. It's like, okay, that has to be here because I've never seen with a beard in anything else, really. Yeah, it's true. Nothing. No. He stays pretty clean. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, this is, you're talking 20, what, 24, what did we establish here? 26 years ago? Yeah. Jesus, man. I mean,. How old is he then? He's, he's what, 72 now? Well, he was in his 30s when he did uh, Star Wars, so he's probably at least oh, mid-40s. Oh, Jesus. They're about... He's in his 70s now, but yeah. Yeah. So he's in his 40s. He looked good, though. Yeah. And, and he just come off of Patriot Games. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right before... And it was like, this, Patriot I, Games this, and then it was clear and present danger, so, like, he's got blockbusters lined up. I love... Now, one of the interesting things here about this whole interrogation, mm -hmm. he's in shock. Yeah. But they're mistaking his shock for guilt. Like, yeah. you know, that he's like... Yeah. But he, it's like he's not... It hasn't settled in for him at this point. Right. But they... If you listen to the interrogation, they really, like... They give him a hard time, like, you're so cold about it almost. Mm -hmm. They treat him like he's cold. Yeah. About the whole thing. But it's like, no, he's just been shy. Imagine putting yourself in that mm -hmm. position. And he's playing it so perfectly. Yeah, and also because Harrison, Harrison's end of the scene is completely improv he didn't know what questions the guys playing the cops were going to throw at him. Yeah. So everything he does in that scene is completely off the cuff. That's great. That's exactly how it should be. I mean, yeah, you're going to get a it, much better response. And you, you can see it in his performance. There are certain points where he's like stuttering in the moment and everything. So but it's, That's great directing. Yeah. About it. And Ford, he, he, he shadowed a bunch of uh, doctors, surgeons in Chicago yeah. to be able to actually have that uh, quality in the character, that knowledge, be able to work that surgery scene looking like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I love that they, in that flashback there, they, they gave you a, they did drop a little bit of uh, the other, the heel, you know, they, they uh -huh. made an appearance, you know, which we'll get to, mm -hmm. but they, they, they kind of dropped that early to kind of plant that in your brain yeah. as a yeah. viewer. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful how this, this works on a screenplay level. Yeah. Delay everything out and then call it back when you get closer oh, to yeah. the, the the conclusion of the film. He uh, well, this, as we know, this this movie is based on the te television series. Television series, mm -hmm. yeah. Which my mom was a big fan of growing up. Mm -hmm. She talks about it. She was a huge fan of of this. She wrote a fan letter to the. Uh, I can't remember the original <laughs> oh, actor's name. Uh, can't, can't remember his name, but she yeah. she was a big uh, she was a, a big fan of that. I, I love. <laughs> I always call back to. I think it was. Um, it was uh, the mask. Jim Carrey, mm -hmm. when he he was like, it wasn't me. It was the one hour man. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the actor was David Jensen. David Jensen. Yeah, my mom loved David Jensen. Mm -hmm. Wrote him a fan letter. Got an eight by ten back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, talking about like, this whole all this stuff does feel so Chicago police. It does. They're yeah. they're very direct in what they're doing, right here. They're they're breaking it down, and they're very decisive about our thing. The Chicago cops do feel very decisive, as, yeah. as much as we've seen the in new news reports and everything, newscasts. Yes, you know they're. Yeah, his, and I was like, I love his. You see his yeah. eyes. Yeah. That it's it's great. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's it's so. Per I love the acting. On this. Yeah. I think it was one of his best roles because oh, yeah. he looks exactly like a guy who just saw who just dealt with this. Mm -hmm. There's so much shock and and fear and and sadness in his in his eyes. The way yeah. the way his voice breaks up. Yeah, you know, it's it's just like it's so great. Yeah, I mean, Harrison Ford is one of the best American actors ever. Yeah, I just beyond just the quality of acting, he has a grounded sensibility, and he's such a when you hear about everyone working behind the scenes with him, the guy is 100% committed. He yeah. has absolutely never had any ego about himself. He's all about the project. Yeah. Doing whatever it takes to make the film as good as it possibly can be. See this right here. Oh, yeah. And they're asking him all these damn questions, and yeah. he's breaking down. Yeah. Like, it's so good. Yeah. 
It, I love, they move it quick. They yeah. get you going. Exactly. Quick. That's why I was saying. Like, there's yeah, no delay in which, this. Whichever editor it was on the thing that figured this structure out it was brilliant. It's that okay? Now the one, the one fly through that did. I don't want to say bothered me, but it was like you didn't get. You, taught, you got some of how they convicted him based on what, like the fingerprints over the lamp and all that. Right. They did drop that, but I mean that to me from. Interrogation to court moved a little too quick. I could have used a little bit more of an incriminating, decisive incriminating yeah. piece. Like, what did they get him on? Like, hey, we saw we, your yeah. fingerprints were on the gun and there's residue on your finger. Yeah. Something where it's like one thing more. And yeah. I'm telling you here a little more. Yeah, well, the no no forcible entry, all this little things. Yeah, I just wanted I wanted it a little previous to this. Yeah, it's, just because it's Maybe. like we're already in court. It's like oh yeah. shoot. Yeah, this is quick. It's a tough scene to watch. Uh, if you see, it, if, if it's a real yeah. tough scene to watch, yeah. you know. And it's it's like it's it's scary to think, you know, like he. Oh yeah, you know? so especially. I mean, I mean, look, as look you go on, yeah. just right past this point in time in a, in American society, yeah. we've got OJ and all these little, oh, little yeah. things, big trials about these horrible horrible crimes and everything. I mean. And this is it's just sad man this whole thing yeah. this scene is very very tough yeah this is right before the 24 hour court news cycle so i mean yeah this and, is... and this right here this this incrimination mm -hmm. yeah yeah she's oh man i mean they 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 do such a good job here to kind of like show kind of both perspectives on the situation here that you're seeing what the, what the prosecutors are are putting all the pieces of evidence together, but you're also seeing his perspective as these things are being dulled out in court. Yeah. Of what what his perspective was, and get a little bit more into just like how things are misinterpreted because you don't have yep. a full objective picture of the situation. See that? It's like you're taking a dying woman's. Oh my gosh! See, like yeah. that got him. Yeah. He saw the finger, the mm -hmm. uh, the rubber glove. Rubber, yeah. yeah. See that got him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See that that's incredible. But it's like she was dying. She's probably calling out for her husband. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Oh man. I know. It's, I know. It's judged from something. Yeah. Else, I was too. saying. It's like. I was like. I was thinking. It's like. Yeah. I've seen him somewhere. I'm, yeah. He's probably been at least a lawyer in something else. Oh, for sure. He's definitely been in something. He's a very, uh, he's a, he's a very distinct actor too. Yeah. There was a give me. Uh, there was a lot of in the early '90s, man. There was a lot of this, a lot of crossover. A guy, especially guys who were good at filling a role, you know. Yeah. You know, like they, it's like certain guys are good at being cops. You'd see him as cops and other things. Oh too. yeah. Or old original Vell Johnson. Yeah, I was I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Family Matters lately oh, too. Oh yeah. I've started Family Matters from 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 the uh, beginning on Hulu. <laughs> I just felt like a comedy, a nice sitcom to watch, and it still holds up. <laughs> Reg is a great actor. <laughs> yeah. I think he's fantastic. They cast him in Family Matters based on his Die Hard. I'm role, sure. That's yeah. what they were saying. I, I was watching a little mini doc on it. I know this guy too. The, 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 the black guy? No, the no. Uh, the prison guard, the one who oh. is leading him. I was he's checking. Been, he's been in a bunch of shit too. Okay, yeah, the the judge was in. He was also in Under Siege. He he was one of the admirals. That's it. He's that's a, it. He's in a racer. He's in Major League. Yeah, he's he, yeah, authoritarian he, yeah, yeah, figure. He, he's he's got a had a career. But this, but the the, the guy driving the truck. This guy, I know this guy. Oh, the mustache guy. Yeah. Oh, definitely. He's been in a ton of stuff. Oh yeah, especially around that era too. Yeah, you know this was. They jump. I mean, the damn credits are still going. Yeah, think about that. We're already at him on the prison bus. We're 15, fourteen minutes in. We haven't even gotten to the director credit yet. <laughs> oh, you know where that guy's from? The mustache. He's in Die Hard with the Vengeance. He's the truck driver. Okay. Ch Chester A. Arthur. That's the guy. Who, okay. That's the guy who gives that clue. I know. <laughs> <laughs> who gives the uh, the clue to Bruce Willis? The fifth of the, mm -hmm. well, the, what was it, the uh, 16th president, whatever the clue was that he oh, okay. gave him. Uh, 
direct, the screenwriters on this thing because uh, they were working off a draft from David Toohey who would end up doing the Riddick films, Pitch Black. Oh, okay. And he, uh, and he apparently did like a draft on like Alien 3 or something like that, but uh, he'd been around doing a lot of good stuff. And then Jeb Stewart co-wrote Die Hard. Yeah. And so he was working on revising that draft while they were filming the film, the movie. Gotcha. So I mean, there's a lot of talent in this damn thing. Yeah, no kidding. All over the place. It was a, it was a, it was a hit, you know. It was a big movie. Yeah. I mean, this what you know. This was this is one of the, this is the biggest grossing of the year, wasn't it? Uh, probably behind Jurassic Park. Oh yeah, yeah. This, that was a tough year. Ninety yeah. thousand, a big film year too. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Harrison Ford pretty much signed on to this after he saw Under Siege and saw, like, this this Andrew Davis guy yeah. could put together a, a solid movie. This guy, right? <laughs> oh, man. This whole, this whole scheme. <laughs> That's it. Mm -hmm. And you're... You ain't getting shivved. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it wasn't even worth it. Guy got wasn't killed. Even worth it, man. That's it. Oh. Now you're screwed. Take him out. Black guy almost looks like he's in like a tracksuit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why is he in like? The why green? is he in the green? Yeah. Brother's got to represent, man. He's got to look cool. <laughs> look at this. What a yeah. And, I, and I, I, they did all this. Like they really flipped the. I remember seeing. Yeah, the, there's no miniatures in this entire. There's sequence. nothing. It's they really practical. flipped the buzz. I saw the whole making of the oh, train yeah. scene and everything. It was fantastic. Phenomenal. How much went into this? Yeah, because I mean, when we get to the trains here, here they said it was cheaper to actually do it all this way instead of making mo miniatures and models. The locomotive alone cost like twenty thousand. Really? Which is, I mean, by film standards, cheap. Yeah. This guy's in a bunch of. He's, he, I saw yeah. the Die Hard's one, but I can't remember what else. Yeah. So never shave the mustache, man. Never. You'll lose. You'll, you'll lose all cachet without the mustache. Seriously, some guys, it's like you need to keep that facial. Like you're known for it. It's like Tom oh, Selleck, don't don't. Why are you shaving that thing? Oh up? yeah, Selleck Selleck with the mustache, man. Yeah, but that's it. Certainly. Selleck Reynolds. Re when Reynolds shaved the mustache, I feel like he lost it. Yeah. He lost the look. Lost something, man. Kiss my ass, Doc. Kiss my fucking ass. Look at that, even this guy left. <laughs> he's still a good. Yeah. Dude. He's, he's not a murderer. Yeah, you know, that's, that's the thing. That's, a, that's he's, a, the smart little details. He's the he's a damn doctor. He's mm -hmm. saving people's lives. You know, it's a, they still they, they keep that in there. Mm-hmm. To remind you that he wasn't—he wasn't a bad guy. Yeah. So that's. that's and great. and uh, they gave Harrison Ford a stunt double. Did they? He didn't really want to use it. This is him doing this stunt right here. This is Ford doing this one. This is Ford jumping off the thing. That's nope. him. And that was a live shot. That's a live shot. That's a one take. You got to get that right. Right. There's no rehearsal. There's no other way to do it. You oh. have. Right. Once you roll cameras and start moving things, can you imagine you're that? You're set to place. There's no other way to do it. Can you imagine? They have like 12 cameras rolling on this thing. Oh. And the fact that he's got to do this run shackled and everything. I mean, that's remarkable. unbelievable. That's remarkable. Look at this. What a disaster. I mean, that, that that's why this is so impressive. That's, that's why I love this stuff. CGI made gave everybody a cop out, man. Yeah, again, yeah. again, cheaper. There's no way you do this digitally and cost twenty, twenty thousand right. dollars. You got to pay all these people and all this stuff. It's not cheap. Yeah, yeah, you can. It, do would, co it would cost them close to a million to do it all digitally. Sure. I guarantee it because you'd have to employ a hundred FX artists. Hollywood throws around millions like they're dollars. You know, what I mean, it's yeah. like they're like they're singles. Yeah, it's like it's millions, like nothing. Burning money. It's nuts. This there was some ma there was a, mm. there was magic to this you know when there oh, was yeah. when there was an actual train well, right, being right. used well right because I mean like again like you said there's a whole featurette just on this sequence on this alone. scene I've seen I've seen the featurette yeah. just on that scene S showing how they set it up how they how they planned it all out it's remarkable. that they had to scout between five different states to find the right place to do it in this is North Carolina oh it was North Carolina yeah yeah that's fantastic so I mean 
there's just there's no better way to do it. Look at that peace. Oh, he's he's hurt. Yeah. Peace offering. Help mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. out. <laughs> Why was he in the green tracksuit looking thing? Oh. <laughs> like it identifies he's like more of a murder or something. You know? I don't know. Yellow's like standard. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Here we go. I wonder what they were showing. Like what were they supposed to be? Are they on their way to Joliet prison or mm, I don't know. what were they on their way to? You know, what was the idea? Mm. Well what you know, they didn't really they said Menard early. I didn't know I even know what town that is. Well, I had no clue. It's like a sheriff's car. Let's try to see if there's any identifying factors here. Right, here we go. Even that guy, that damn guy, uh, that's uh, Pantilano. Joey, Joey Pants, yeah. Joey Pants. He's in this too. <laughs> Son of a gun. He's our Academy Award winner. Look at him, with hair. With like, with like different hair, I should say. <laughs> and the face, he doesn't really normally have a beard either. So that's different for Joey. Oh, yeah. Looks so different. But, uh, Timely Jones, I mean... <laughs> he was joking while they're doing stuff on the film. I was like, no one's gonna win an award for this. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> he's the only one who does. That's true. And then you got Daniel Roebuck right yeah, here, yeah, who I've seen in a bunch of stuff. I, oh yeah. Most notably for me, I saw he was in Matlock for a long time. Hmm. He was cast on Matlock, but uh, he's been in a bunch of shit. Oh yeah. But Tom, this is Tommy Lee Jones' breakout role. To oh, me, yeah. I think this is the role that, that yeah, made, it made, made him a list for sure. Absolutely. I mean, this catapulted his career. I mean, he was definitely untouchable for a while after yeah. this. Where's he? Uh, what's he into lately, though? I haven't really seen much out of him lately. Uh, last thing I saw him was like the last Jason Bourne movie, which wasn't terribly good. <laughs> he's also up there in age too. You know, he's in his mid seventies. Oh, imagine. I'm sure. Yeah, he, he feels like it now. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy taking <laughs> taking all this credit. <laughs> I I do love the the bureaucratic nonsense that goes on between the different jurisdictions. Oh know, yeah, FBI, local. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of that to yeah, show here. Yeah. I lo love the fact that you, that Gerard knows he's the smartest man in the area right mm -hmm. now. Like okay, I'll, I'll I'll give you a couple minutes to, to show just how yeah how much of a clue you just absolutely do not have right now. See, I like that I fifty seven. Yeah, I give you they they use again. It goes back to yeah I fifty seven twenty four is kind of like down by the K Kentucky line or whatnot. Yeah, like you know, fifty seven goes to Memphis from Chicago. Yeah. So it's like it's very very south Illinois. Just just very good attention yeah. to detail again. Yeah. I like it. You know, it's, it's again, goes right to Andrew Davis. Mm -hmm. It's true, though. If you, even if you watch Above the Law, there's a lot of accuracy and, and oh, yeah. geographic accuracy, oh, yeah. you know? See? They, they <laughs> bureaucratic back and forth. <laughs> there you go. It took his team like 10 seconds to figure this all out. Look at that. <laughs> Who held the key? Yeah. I know her too. She was in uh God, there's so many little you know, actor drops here. She was in oh man, it's gonna come to me. <laughs> this is great. This little back and forth bickering. <laughs> now he's taking charge, man. Oh, I know that lady. That's gonna bug me. Oh. She's been in something that I love, uh, and I'm gonna figure that out. <laughs> We're gonna find that one out. Yeah, such, such a great thing with this film is like they don't waste any time to establish who these characters are. It goes right in. And you yeah. are you are in from from the jump this movie starts. Yeah, as soon as Gerard shows up on the scene. Absolutely. You, you, you just see what he's doing in the whole thing. You just again he's just waiting for certain people to fail, so it's like Yep. So I, I I've already got this thing figured out ten steps ahead of where you are right now. I know her from Lost. She okay. Was Rose and Lost. Any Losties okay. out there? Uh, she plays one of the most beloved characters, Rose, mm -hmm. who's who's 
truly one of the most beloved characters on the show. Uh, her voice is very distinctive. She's a okay. great actress. Um, and her name was, uh, oh, I just said it. Her name is for L. Scott Caldwell, for anybody okay. wondering. But she is a Chicagoan. Mm -hmm. That's, again, going okay. back to some authenticity there. Yeah. Apparently, uh, when Harrison was running through the forest in these scenes, uh -huh. he suffered an injury. To what? Uh, one, one, his leg or whatnot, a tendon or something. Really? Okay. But he wouldn't get surgery, so he'd maintain continuity with the character throughout the entire film. Are you serious? As you'll see throughout the whole film, he limps, he limps. through everything. He does. He does limp. You're right. I do, and I appreciate that. Again, some authenticity. I mean, my, whether it's not whether he's trying to maintain a direct continuity or just does want to stop production on the film for six weeks while he gets surgery and has to recover and everything. True, true, absolutely. It could be that as well. It's like, I can live with this for a while. One of the Chicago cops, the authentic cops, the one with the gray hair, is Ron Dean. He was, mm -hmm. he is a Chicagoan, a native mm -hmm. Chicagoan. Most films he's appeared in were Andrew Davis films. Okay. <laughs> um, and, his other, and the other, his partner there is Joe Casula, who he said that sounds like a Chicago name. Yeah, Joseph Joe Kosala. Cos Joe Kosala. <laughs> and he uh appeared a ton of Chicago stuff. He passed away in twenty fifteen. No. But he was a retired cop. Okay. Kosala yeah. was a retired cop for sure. Liver failure in twenty fifteen he passed away. But no. he was a, he was a good one. I mean he did all the under he did under siege, primal fear, you know. Okay. Um, gosh. Yeah, it's like Dennis Farina. It's like he, he was a Chicago cop and he got involved with Michael Mann and just created an entire other career for himself after he retired. That's it. I mean, it's, you want authenticity, go to the, go to the source, you yeah. know? But yeah, Casal did like all, you know, ER, which is a Chicago-based show, oh, yeah. you know, Above the Law, Code of Silence. Like, he did all these things that were oh, Chicago-based, yeah. which is great. I remember buying this movie on VHS yeah. when, it, when it released. <laughs> <laughs> so this must be before the limp, because he's not limping here. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. I filmed a few few things out of... Out of sequence, yeah. yeah. Now, you know, one thing they don't give you in this movie is, until the end, is the um, the time lapse. How much time has passed? It's been yeah. like a year, apparently. Yeah, yeah. It's not until a lot, lot later that you've figure out the timeline for when the crime occurs to when this is taking place. That it's been the year, which blew yeah. my mind. I remember when they, when they tell you about it, you're like, yeah. holy shit, that was a year's worth of stuff that happened. It's like, you don't even think, because yeah, he went to jail, trial, blah, blah, blah. You don't think about it, but yeah, they, they tell you that it, it's he's been on the run for a year. Yeah. And I wish they kind of gave you a little more idea of that. Like, they... Um, they told you, like, hey, like, they showed maybe seasons changing or something something to show yeah. you, but I, I guess we're in that final stretch now. Like, it's it's been nearly a year at this yeah. point. We're, we're like, kind of up to that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, yeah, here, here's him being a doctor and taking care of himself. Yeah. He's pretty jacked at this point, too. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's in six-pack abs, his fucking arms and tries. He's looking great. I mean, he, he, and it's been, only been like four years since he did uh, Last Crusade so yeah like I say he just did Patriot Games so he's still in top shape to do these things yeah look at that just hiding <laughs> good lord all she has to do is turn the other way and she says <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> quick look at that it goes the beard. Yeah, the beard looked great, but time to go. Yeah, well, you, you, you got to create a uh, a disguise of sorts for yourself. That's true. That's the best way to do it. Because apparently there was like a, a studio executive like he hated stars having beards because they weren't made them less recognizable. Really? But Harris is like, well, either I have the beard at the beginning of the film yeah. and shave it off, or I have to grow the beard and have it through eighty percent of the yeah. movie. So he kind of. Figure that out. That's true. And it certainly does make him look like 10 years younger in a certain way. So. That's for sure. Yeah. He, uh, and it's nice to have this moment here to just kind of give a li li little bit of establishment to be th that is passable. But they don't keep that up through the entire film. There's certain things where, like, 
moments in later later film that people certain certainly do kind of recognize him in a certain way. So yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's all been there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the beard takes off the uh, take definitely takes away the the obvious recognition of you know like you yeah. don't recognize him right away. Yeah. But he's still he's still a doctor, man. Look at <laughs> a little comedy in there yeah. too. Wait a minute! It's uh. Don't I know you? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Like they, yeah. Again, this, another Andrew Davidson. They throw yeah. little in a serious like. Yeah. The Seagal movies have a little couple of one-liners in yeah. every now and then, you know. But I mean, again, again, as you said, it's nice that like even though he's on the run, he's kind of pan panicked. He's still who he is at the core of it. He's yes. not just trying to run away is like he, he has a certain code of ethics about himself that he knows this guy's injured he knows how he got injured what's wrong with him yeah he's at least going to take that moment to, to make sure that he gets the care he needs yep yeah <laughs> two of them are wonderful in this whole They're film great. and I guess uh, Pantiano is like I'm going I'm going to just cuddle up as close as I can to Jones in this thing. Oh, yeah. So, so I can get the most screen time out of him. Somewhere. He's a very savvy actor there. He is. I mean, he, he, his career boomed after the after. Oh, this yeah. Year. I mean, and Actually, it didn't go right away. It took him a little bit to keep building up. Yeah. But he was, like, very recognizable. Yeah. Because, I mean, he already been around for over 10 years. He was all risky business. Yeah. It was, like, 82. I think when he changed his image a little bit, it, it helped. You know, yeah. when he... When he um, he shaved his beard and he yeah. cha changed the hairstyle, yeah, you know, he started doing some more mob stuff and everything. Yeah. You know, he got more into that. He wasn't yeah. when well, he started playing the heel more than the, than the good yeah. guy. <laughs> like, because was he on Sopranos? I didn't watch Sopranos, but I, I, I didn't watch it either. I could have sworn he had a he was on there. Probably, I look think at he, that I scene. think he was. Yeah, look at that. Look at that's awesome. Yeah. All right, so that's a real scene. Yeah, and he was like. Uh, character in the matrix who is a little bit of a duplicitous yeah. there and everything so he's in ready to rumble he plays yeah. the eric bischoff character type oh, character oh, right rumble. <laughs> he's yeah, the promoter the he evil promoter but yeah, and before matrix he was with the wachowskis and bound oh right? wow. he was playing kind of a mob guy there too yeah that's what i'm saying i think that became so his he, niche he found, found something that definitely became his niche but he again he, he was so savvy that even like at the end of the film where in the script it seemed like they're gonna kill him off he did everything possible to keep his character oh, alive. Yeah. It's like, there's got to be a sequel. Yeah. And there was a sequel. I never saw it, though. No? No. U.S. What? Marshals. That's right. He was right, yeah. I... That movie made about a third of what this one did. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. It, it didn't It didn't. That's catch right. On. I forget that they, he was he carried the character on him. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about this scene. Honestly, this, this scene completely skipped my mind. Huh. I forgot that there was a, an ambulance chase. Yeah, because this leads to the whole thing in the, in the drainage pipe. That's right. That's, I was thinking, how did Which of the series was like Niagara Falls. I never paid attention to this scene. I, I, well, I not paid attention, but I don't remember this at all. Mm. That's crazy. I do. I mean, obviously, drainage pipe is the most famous yeah, scene yeah. out of the movie. Yeah. But I, I, I remember this movie pretty well, but I don't remember yeah. any of how they get here. Like, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I never saw the series, but so much that is so soaked into pop culture that where whatever point that was in the series where they where Gerard catches up with Kimball yeah at Niagara Falls that's like the big kind of like he finally got this close to getting the guy and he slipped yeah. out from his grasp the series ran for what four years probably somewhere on that yeah. then they had the the Tim Daly version that came out mm -hmm. in like the 2000s so I think that was maybe which, one which flopped right yeah, yeah. it didn't Hey, I think they actually put the, the pilot episode on the Blu-ray here, but I didn't watch it. They really? Oh, well. Yeah, potential there. I mean, it, it's a story that you can really get some mileage out of yeah. if you do it right. But if you don't do it right, you can't. It, it can't be a good series if you don't do it right. Like, yeah. You can. You, you'd have to make every episode its own adventure, which is kind of like, like like a quantum leap, right? Yeah. Every episode is its own little adventure. Yeah. That's what the Fugitive Show would have to be. It, it, you know, almost like Incredible Hulk series. Yeah. Where it's like the guy who is on the run, but he keeps going into 
different towns and meeting different people and getting into different situations, right. but still kind of maintaining his own sense of ethics of e who he is and right. everything. Each is its own its own entity. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. The Barkley Dam, right? Is that what it, they were at now? Oh, I don't know. Guess what he said. In the, I'm okay, curious, that's what curious, they said. I'm okay. curious if that's a real thing. I imagine so. I don't know where they actually shot the sequence. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. It, was probably, it, was probably, it might have still been North Carolina at this point. Might be, yeah. The Barkley. I don't know how many, how many dams there are in Barkley. Illinois. There's a lot of flatland south of here. I don't know. There's, there's no Barkley. There's Berkeley Dam, the Grand Rivers. Let's see where that is. I mean, it's Berkeley instead of Barkley. There's a Berkeley, yeah, but he said Barkley in the oh, thing. Oh, okay. Sometimes the subtitles are wrong. Well, the actual <laughs> Barkley Dam is uh, near, uh, is in Kentucky, <laughs> right at the border. So, yeah, maybe that's what they're at. I don't know. Okay. They're running. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> no, but he was in Chicago at that hospital, right? So. Yeah. Or, no, we just assume he was in Chicago at that hospital. Well, that one he he snuck into. I think he just went to any hospital. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't yeah. meant to be though. Chicago, yeah. right, right. He's making so, his so way this back. is still down where where they said like I twenty four, right, right, seven down so. south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great. This is a great scene. Great yeah. sequence here. A lot going on. You know, like the the you're pretty close to catching him, but you're you know you realize you're pretty still pretty early into the movie. Yeah. But it builds up that tension. It's like okay, you are early in the film, but it's like. How's he gonna escape? How's he gonna get this? He, he's being bored into a corner here. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's good because it you, you have a lot of players. You have a couple people chasing them, but it really yeah. just comes down to these two. Yeah. You know, that's the idea. It's it's one versus the other. Yeah. And it was weird because I was looking at all the the wards and everything, and the, this actually. <laughs> It got some MTV Movie Award nominations. Like, mm -hmm. best on-screen duo was Ford and Jones, but they've got like four scenes together in the whole film. So that's kind of an odd thing to say they were duo. Four scenes only. Huh? Well, he's running from so somewhere time. around that range. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like this one, the end. And there's like, like a phone call in there someplace. Yeah, so there's, like, there's not not a lot of scenes they have there to be a technical. I mean, they they, they these two characters move the for the, the forward momentum of the story completely. Yeah. Here you go. Here's a so so in that in that terms, the two characters, for story purposes, work in concert to move the different elements of the plot forward. Look at this. I don't and that's, care. That's a wonder, and that's that's a change from the line in the, the the original script. I think it was like, well, that's not my job. Right. Okay. But I I like you changed that there because it, I think it amplifies Kimball's desperations. Like, the one copy comes across. Doesn't have a care about it. It's like that, that, it job. hammers at home. It's like he's not going to get anyone else to help him in this whole thing. No one else on that end is going to do it for him. He has to figure it out himself. Right. Yeah. It, like they're showing that Tommy Lee's character here is—he's not out. He doesn't care. He's just out. To, his job he's is doing to catch it. him. Yeah. That's it. He does, I don't care. Due process yeah. is is not his, not not his deal to deal with. Well, there's a tie back now to that line yeah. at the end, yeah, or towards the end, yeah, and uh, which it, it, I mean, this scene right here is yeah. classic, classic scene. I mean, for, for first time <laughs> viewers, you know, nobody could see this coming. Yeah, you know, like what was, what was happening here? Like, mm -hmm. they, they, yeah, by all accounts, they're like, "This is it." Yeah, such a great scene. I mean, the desperation. He, yeah. I, this, I swear, was Harrison nominated for this? No, he wasn't. Shocking. Yeah. Who? I mean, who Who was in 93 then? Because this is phenomenal. Well, the same year as Schindler's List. <sighs> no chance. <laughs> yeah. And Harrison did the actual jump in close-up there. Then this shot is him just showing up on, on like the Warner Brothers set what the studio lot and whatnot it's like oh, let me just tangle with the camera in the in the in the, the <laughs> tank for a little while so what was the, he just what, showed up was like let me, let me as well just throw this in here what what uh what was the actual was there an actual jump into something nobody I, nobody actually jumped into that thing no because there's just a close-up of him doing the leap out of frame then it's just a dummy, dummy. in the wide shots gotcha 
I love this whole thing. It's like everyone keeps saying this guy must be dead. There, you know, whatnot. It's like Gerard doesn't want to hear that. He he wants physical evidence. Oh, yeah. If he's dead, give me a body. Yeah, give me a body. Exactly. He doesn't put anything. He, he doesn't assume anything. He doesn't brush anything aside. This guy is so thoroughly dedicated and determined, and so meticulous in his work. Yep. He's not just. He's not a guy who just blows anything off. Look at this. He cracks the whip. Glass throat. I mean, like, he is... I need the body. Yeah. Show me the goddamn body. Yeah. <laughs> he needs the body. He's not gonna... He's not gonna... I, wanna, I mean, he's 100% determined here. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with him. It's like, you had a job to do yeah. here, right? Like, and it might be like something... I don't know if they build it up, build it up in, like, uh, a conversation about the character, but it's like, it just... You could see, like... As him, maybe a, a young agent or whatnot, he probably saw someone else maybe kind of be flipping and sure. get stung back by. It's like, yeah. no, I'm not. That's not going to be me. Absolutely, I'm going to follow through absolutely to the absolute end of this entire trail. Look at that, he lives. Yeah, coming up there like a Loch Ness monster, just <laughs> bobbing, the head just bobbing above water. <laughs> the the die was a little is by the one of the more far fetched aspects of the movie, <laughs> diving off a dam. Yeah. A damn, damn is not gonna. You, you, your chance of surviving that is, yeah, very rare. You can't imagine that that water is extremely deep. Look at this. Yeah, it's look just, at this. That's just the cool whole sh shot. It's a cool the location, shot. Location, everything. It's a great shot. I'm curious where that is. I'd like to find. Yeah. That. That's pretty cool. It's freezing. I, I mean, what are we what are we talking? They got jackets on. This has to be like November. I think there's a Christmas story sure, yeah. later on in the movie. Some, yeah, something. Right. So you're, you're talking fall for sure. This is great. Like the way he's reacting to the cold. Yeah, he's fish food. Yeah, get a cane pole and catch the fish. Like, yeah. like he he wants a body. I, I, I gotta say, he's out to do a job. Yeah, the dam was also in North Carolina. Okay. Makes sense. Looks like a lot of North Carolina here. Yeah. yeah just running. His cardio was fantastic. This, this might have been winter. He, he, he got tripped up. He's, yeah, yeah, there's he, a limp. Yeah, you can see it there. So you probably did. Well, it's it believable. In sequence then. It's believable because he just jumped off a dam. Yeah. He's probably injured somehow. So how bad was the injury? What are we talking? Muscle? Oh. I think it was a tendon. And let me check. It was on the IMDb trivia last night. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, like it, it, it adds up. If see, it's cold. You're talking. It's got to be at least. Oh no, he's smoking a cigar. <laughs> I thought he's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I mean, we're, we're definitely in fall here. At least they got coats on. Yeah. This is one thing. I said one thing you have to kind of do yourself is, is de determine the time. Like yeah. your time frame and where you're at in, in the year here. Yeah, he damaged some ligaments in his leg. Mm. So. That scar he's got across his chin? Is that a. I think that's a, a typical. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a scar. Mm. Never noticed that. Flashbacks with the wife. Yeah. Celia Ward's very pretty. She yeah. Very, what's she, is she still around? She'll, I think she's still around, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a pseudo sex scene here. <laughs> Harrison pushed for that. Well, here, let me get a little. Uh, let me run it for two hours. Let me get a. <laughs> let me get a little, a little loving. <laughs> tough, very tough scene to watch. This yeah. now you're getting now you're getting your you're moments. Getting, yeah, you're getting a little bit of the the, the killer. This fucking yeah. There you go. There's the yeah. There's nothing distinctive left. Yeah. That's the side. They've got no prints. They can't find this random killer you said there was. There, there, there's, there's, I think it just kind of comes down to the fact that all the evidence points nowhere else but him. Yeah. That's a, I mean, it was circumstantially, he got fucked. Yeah. Where are we at here now? See, I like seeing, I like trying to, oh, this is definitely not Chicago. No. But when they get, to see, call well, Kentucky. Well, I said, it makes sense. Look, yeah, call so Kentucky. They, yeah, so they're. That's what that Berkeley Dale's. So they're showing that you're in, in that part of the area. Yeah. yeah. 
or Barkley Dam. That's why I yeah. Googled it just now. So it was Kentucky. Yeah. Alright, so that we're keeping pretty true here. I like yeah. that. That's pretty cool. He's in such an odd, odd spot. It's like, what, is, what does the guy do? You know, like, what do you do here? Yeah. You know, it's like, anybody can identify with the character. Like, you're in yeah. such a desperation. Yeah. What the hell do you but do? I, but I, I like they put that whole flashback sequence there. It's like that, that, that gets you in the head of the character to know what he's intending to do next. Absolutely. After he's been with, encountered Gerard, Gerard doesn't care about the due process or figuring anything out. Right. He's not going to get help from anywhere else. The only way he's going to be able to, he can't keep running forever, so he has to figure out the mystery. Yep. And now there, so he's dyeing up his hair, he's changing up his look. Yeah. The wallet he had, was that the guy's wallet that he took, they took the clothes from? Is that what that was? I'm guessing so. There you go, a nice citizen going yeah. with an Illinois plate. Mm-hmm. Nice t- big old, big old coupe there. Take the ride. There you go. See if that's an Oldsmobile or what? Can't tell. There we go. Again, look at you know, there's there's it's so different. That skyline is different. <laughs> it's a great skyline. The Chicago yeah. skyline thing is is the best in the world. <laughs> I don't think you can top that. Even yeah. I, I love New York City, but it has nothing on the Chicago skyline. Yeah. I, I like all those aerial shots from different angles because you usually just see it the one from the from the lake. From the lake, right? I like that. Like that they get a little bit of a different angle oh, on yeah. it. To get, get just for us. We're so familiar with it. It just has a nice, uh, different quality about it. Yep. So who knows the city? And whether it's some of the stock footage or whatever the heck it is, I don't know. Yeah, but that's uh, definitely probably stock whatever, whatever it is, I mean, they found some good quality footage to use that shows off a different quality of the oh, city. Oh, without a doubt. A lot of stock footage yeah. exists of that, you know, that yeah. skyline for yeah. sure. I like this whole sequence. Uh, we just passed a little bit over, but you, you saw Harrison getting picked up from the woman. Yes. And they cut to his team talking about this guy got picked up by a local woman to shacked up with him. You're thinking they're closing in on him again. Yeah. But it's actually the black guy in the green jumpsuit they they're, they're, they found. Ah, yeah. So they're, 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 tricking, they're kind of faking you out on the story. Yeah, because I mean, it is a stretch. You're thinking, where the hell are they? Yeah. And I mean, it, like, how, how would they decipher that? They should yeah. have picked up, yeah. So, I mean, and, and again, it's nice that they're not leaving that guy's thread un, that's true. unresolved. He ran off, that's true. So, I mean, he, he's also a guy they need to be tracking down. Look at that. Just right in. I like the little attention to detail. They have the U.S. Marshal. They, they revealed their U.S. Marshal yeah. patches. Yeah, yeah. you have to be identified. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice little standoff about to happen here. Yeah. And this, and this is another scene that really informs Gerard's character here. How he handles the situation. Yeah. Calm, cool. Yeah. This is interesting. Mm-hmm. You're right, though. I, I like that they didn't let this guy's, let this guy's story right. line go. You still have to resolve this because he, yeah. he is the he's, one guy. He's a, he's a fugitive as well. He's the one, he's one guy who confirms what happened. Too. Yeah. He's the one guy who was there. Yeah. If you need something to confirm, he's. Look at that. Yeah. What a yeah, shot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty phenomenal. What a shot. That's awesome. Look like Ernie Hudson for a second. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Skinned his bag on that coat. Raised mm. him. Mm hmm. He's, yeah. But they kill the one guy who could have some answers here, you know? Yeah. And he doesn't like it. He doesn't <laughs> like having to do that shit. I love this. I love, I, ever since I was a kid, yeah. I saw it. Yeah. Shut up. Like, <laughs> I like that it was an yeah. off screen shut up, too. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. It was fantastic. He had to save his man, but he was, he, he you could tell he's pissed because he's like the one, like, one extra clue. I could have had to the yeah. son of a bitch. Or even just like, just the fact that like he likes bringing guys in alive. Yeah. He doesn't like having to do this sort of thing. True. He, he, he has a certain integrity about his job that he doesn't want to have to blow someone away. Right. That's that he probably is a guy, again, even though he's not involved with the due process, probably very much is very upholden to that. Yeah. He believes in that process. And this is another good piece here. Like, I don't bargain with these guys. 
the classic. I'm not going to sit here and negotiate for an hour or day to do anything. It's like, I'm going to take an action, and wherever that action is, I'll, I'll live with that. It's a classic Tommy Lee Jones mm -hmm. face. The face is making that, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Like that, a little disgusted, a little confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're throwing little, <laughs> throwing little stuff here. <laughs> it's like, it's not comedy, but it's, it's like comedic to a sense, mm -hmm. you know, the way he... Yeah, the way he does it. It's very direct. He's seventy-four years, seventy-four years old now. Time only, Jones. Seventy-three. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Feels right. Yeah. Seventy-three years old. Mm -hmm. Oscar winner in a best supporting role. Mm-hmm. This act, this movie. Yep. This is a wonderful shot here. Top I down love stuff. this shot. I love when they do those shots. There's no drones back then, folks. This no, is all old, old copters, helicopter shots, with the clear bottom. Yeah. You know, they just go right through. Yeah. Now it's all drone shots. Yeah. Everybody's got stock drone shots. So this is old Chicago. Yeah. Like, look, you got the old trains. Those trains yeah. don't look like that anymore. Yeah. You got pay phones, which forget it. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> merchandise smart. Yeah, you look at the merchandise smart. That phone ain't there anymore, I'll tell you that oh, much. That's for damn sure. <laughs> now that train ends up coming into play too, which is interesting. Oh yeah. All little things. Great. This is a great time as a lawyer. Yeah. Chicago's a different city now, folks. It's not yeah. like the same where Amer Illinois Bell and Ameritech Company. Rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right now they're in March because they do the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. Later. That's right. So, so they're in March now. Okay, yeah. So I so was either fall or spring is what we were thinking. So okay, it's yeah. definitely cold. Yeah. They're all wearing um, they're wearing jackets. Yeah, there's some snow on the ground here and there. All right, here we go. So that building they're filming in, so like looking at the is background. That the, is that the water tower or no, the Tribune? That looks like the Tribune building behind them. So they're definitely on Michigan Avenue filming that scene. Looks like they filmed that at the at the um, WGM oh not WGM building but the Tribune Tower mm. and that crosses the other the Tribune building yeah building. definitely Michigan Avenue so here you listen to the call and I love Tommy mm -hmm. Lee's detail here yeah. when he picks up on yeah there you go I actually picked up on it okay yeah <laughs> I'm sure any anyone who who's lived under an L for twenty years, they would yeah. exactly tell you that. It's like, yeah, no, 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 that's an L. That's for sure. You you can't detail it, but it's like, that's it. Yeah. Get you out the PA and all that. So he's picking up yeah. on that. It's true though. You could tell the L train. This is great. I love mm -hmm. this little cop work. Yeah. Here. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Right there. It's like two minutes away from where they are. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It's unrecognizable to me, Joey. Joey Pants. <laughs> He's like looks like such a different guy. Yeah. But these these are great moments here. You're just seeing how it's it's, it's yeah. processing in his head. It's Why has he come right back there. to Chicago? What was the pathology of the yeah. the, the actions? Anyone on the run would go in completely opposite direction for anywhere familiar they would be. Right. Why has he come back here? North Bank Club. I love it, man. All filmed here. It's great. Going to Lower Wacker Drive now. Oh, yeah. Classic stuff. Lower Wacker. <laughs> this is uh... even that's pretty classic. <laughs> yeah. 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 Huh. Especially for a Beamer. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing up in a Datsun, they probably wouldn't bother. No. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's such the foreshadow's great. Yeah, it, it's wonderful how they play it, because it, a, a, as we get to, it's like he's playing it to the point where he's trying to avert as much attention away from it as possible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because if he does anything that seems like it's duplicitous, yeah. they're going to start digging into things. Here goes. Now we start digging in here. He's a doctor. Sorry, that's oh, yeah. this, I like this. Now, we're, we're getting into the thick here. Yeah. I love, I love how Gerard is just going up against the, the Chicago cops are just like bull, bullish. Oh, yeah. They just see agenda. They see motive everywhere. That's definitely Michigan Avenue. You can mm -hmm. see right down at Tripping Tower across the way. Taking a rent in a room. I mean, he's, he's like getting set up, which is fantastic. Yeah. It just gets great. It's just yeah. I love how uh, it, it. They look like two. Sh they look like Chicago. Oh yeah, people. I'm sure they're. Totally. they're I'm sure they're extras. I'm from sure here. they are. No doubt about it. it, it I love attention to small yeah. details like that. I mean, I, I appreciate it so much because I, I don't have as many films coming around here as more TV shows right now. But like when, when we had a lot of films coming in, like it's great for Chicago to get the revenue, but it's like. They almost never cast anyone from the area except yeah. for like a few bit parts. Exactly. There was you don't have like like so much locally cast talent in the in the Chicago films. It's like uh, like when like the Batman movies came here in Dark Knight. It's like okay, you got a few people like like this guy's in it, and a few yeah. and I had a knew a few people that had a couple little bit parts. Some didn't make it in the film because they were extras, whatnot. It was like it's like you don't give them any meat. No one getting True. real roles in the film. Everyone else is cast out of L. A. That's stupid. Cook County Hospital, which is oh, a scene yeah. of uh, E. R. Chicago yeah. show. They it's now John Stroger Hospital. Stroger, yeah, that's right. And then, uh, I kept thinking they, they. I kept thinking when I was watching this, you know, it was like I kept thinking they, they shut it down, but they there, there was one of the buildings they were torn down to kind of like. Uh, renovated or something like that but the whole thing is basically still around yeah it t tore down like a wing or something i suppose yeah the whole thing at one point was supposed to go but i think they yeah they alter that plan yeah the guy in the roller skates here <laughs> <laughs> you see that doctor instinct you know it's yeah. like in his mind he's like he's still a doctor he knows yeah. how this operation works here, mm -hmm. he knows where he is you know, he knows what's going on. He understands the system. Speak <laughs> Spanish. Just, uh, Yeah, it's it's nice how they have sequences here where they're just they're using film as a visual language that you don't have to have him explain anything. You right. see him moving through the scene where he's going in the hospital. You put the pieces together because you've already set the 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 details of the plot up. Yes, I love like look the look, look clue building. You know, he's he's looking yeah. at the prosthetics. He's trying mm -hmm. to figure. He knows how to limit it. Like when he starts yeah. really diving in here, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, very well well paced movie. Very well mm -hmm. written. It was kind of interesting that he was able to walk right into the prosthetic lab. I thought yeah. that was might have been a little far fetched, but maybe <laughs> he just walks right in. <laughs> Environmental. He's a smart guy. Well, they're showing he's a sharp guy. Yeah. He knows how to work work his way around things here. Yeah. And again, again, it's, it's just nice that I mean, he's a doctor and he knows the layout of the place. He knows how things work in the area, and he he knows what he has to do to be able to gain access for when he needs to gain access. 
Yeah. That he can't go. He can't go in and try to fake something now in the middle of the day. He's got to get the identity of the janitor and all these little things and yeah. come back after hours to, 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 to deconstruct this entire thing. They're nice that they have the photograph yeah. over his shoulder. Of the, of the night it happened, it looks like. Almost, and, yeah. And they're showing uh, University of Chicago, class of 73. <laughs> again, again it's, it's nice here. It's like, oh, I, I saw him this morning. Very forthright. Yeah. Forthright to a point. Yeah. Not like I mean he's he's throwing them for a loop. Yeah. Like, what the hell? You saw him? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is great. I mean he's cold. But you know what, Mike, if you know the movie, mm -hmm. you know, you kinda know why he's doing this too at the same yeah. time. You know? Yeah. Apparently the the original actor they cast for the role he he ended up falling he shot a few scenes but he fell ill and, and passed away shortly after, so he was the backup choice for this whole thing. Really? Okay. Now I know this guy from a few things. Not too many. Seen him in a few things. Well, I, I you're, you're not familiar with Bond films, but he was uh, one of the villains in The Living Daylights gotcha. from '87. So. Okay. Yeah, he was in the uh, the Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren. Ah, that's, yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Funny, Dolph Lundgren did the Punisher and, and Mash of the Universe, and like and weird, both, both like the flop versions of each. Well, I don't yeah. they flop, but like not the best versions of each. No, there's the Thompson oh, Center. Oh yeah, which beautiful. is set to come down apparently. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that's set to leave. So, a lot of questions. The movie's there. strong with mustaches, man. Big time. It's funny how they came. Beards and mustaches came back <laughs> in the last, you know, maybe ten years. <laughs> He's a, there's a brown line, Kim Wan Belmont uh, brown line. It's funny that I, I didn't realize that for Chicagoans that the brown line used to note Kimball and Belmont on the <laughs> thing. It ends at Kimball. Belmont's a Belmont's a changeover okay. stop to the red line or purple. That's <laughs> interesting that they noted Kimball Belmont on the thing. Very nice. That's kinda of interesting. I never knew yeah. that. I didn't remember. Is that Jane uh, what's her name? Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. Mm -hmm. Chicagoan also. <laughs> She's Chicago. So that's again, you are you are uh, casting Chicago actors. Yeah. I met her once. She was the. Hmm. She's the sister of a guy who worked in accounting at my old job. <laughs> and uh, his name was God, I something Lynch, obviously. And then yeah. she came back. She came around to visit. And it's like, oh, wait a minute, your Logan. sister's Jane Lynch? <laughs> that was a beautiful shot over the Hancock Very nice. there. Yeah. Great shot. To me, it's funny how the Sears Tower, Willis Tower, you want to call it, is the identifying building. But yeah. to me, the Hancock Building yeah, is the much the more. Yeah, antennas up. Yeah, I think that's the much more yeah. identifying building, yeah. in Chicago, especially how it has that that um, it slopes kind of inwards at towards you oh, get yeah. higher. You know, yeah. it's got the fat base, and yeah, uh, to me, that's the more identifying Chicago yeah. building than anything. Well, this is great. I mean, we're starting to get this whole thing. It's like. He was thinking earlier, why do you come back to Chicago? What's the whole thing? Then he gets with Dr. Nichols there. It's like he's starting to come back to the people involved with his life. So yeah. It's like, he's, he's, he's a guy who's like, yeah, not, he's not committed to due process being part of that, that whole thing, but there's a mystery here. I gotta, if not to figure out, figure out the mystery, yeah. but figure out what he's doing, where he's going next, what's the motivation, where's the uh, psychology leading the character towards mm -hmm. he has to go through the same steps that Kimball is going through to figure out where Kimball might end up next to get ahead of him right that's true this is a tough scene because you're, yeah. now you're seeing yeah the whole thing here yeah I like that and again it's nice that they add a, another little detail every time you go back yeah to it. it's un, it's unfolding the evidence of the story more. This is great. Yeah. And again, that little misdirect thing. Yep. But it keeps you on your toes. Yeah, like you are, you're exactly. Like, oh, shit, they got him. Yeah. It's, it's so cool. Because you're like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's yeah. going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Very fun. You kind of have to listen for it, you know, like mm -hmm. listen for like the clue that yeah. it's not Richard they're looking for yeah. here. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. They arrested for some weird thing. Was it like 
drugs or child porn or something. Something like that. It was some I, weird thing that they yeah, get, they're getting I, the sun I for here. I think they're selling... He likes yeah. stringing out 12-year-old girl. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Selling drugs to kids. Stringing out 12-year-olds. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hard to decipher what part of town they're in. It looks like Southside. Yeah, probably. That's a little open area. So you look at that fear he had for a second. Yeah. So and knows that he can't stay here anymore. He's got to pack yeah. up and go somewhere else now. So that shot that just showed the river yeah. going down on the right was the Chicago Sun Times building, which is now the Trump building. Ugh. Which is there's a much so there's another big skyscraper yeah. right there, which you don't have here. You know, mm -hmm. that's interesting to see how yeah. different it, it is. He's got the he's got the fake ID. Mm -hmm. He's got everything going on. His headphones, no Bluetooth back then. Man. No, no, no. <laughs> it's definitely a cassette deck, if anything. Oh, totally. Looks so different with the <laughs> black hair. Yeah. You know, the thing is, it he's sharp. They they, they keep it so, like it. it, it reminds he's always me, moving forward in the story. It reminds me of Breaking. Have you ever seen Breaking Bad? You no, I haven't. Any Breaking Bad viewers will kind of make know this comparison I'm about to make. Walter White was a chemistry mm -hmm. genius. Teacher, yeah, he was a chemistry mm -hmm. teacher, and he was a genius before that. Mm -hmm. So, with the way he was able to outsmart cops and mm -hmm. outsmart the other dealers, and outs and because he had that intelligence. Mm -hmm. The same thing here. He's a doctor. He knows how to work the system. He knows how to yeah. get around things. He's the analytical mind is a big part of that character. Oh well, yeah, I mean what, what Doctor Nichols was saying is like he's too smart for you. He's too smart. You're you're not going to catch him. That's right. You're not going to get him, and he is too smart. Same thing. It's like a Walter White type of thing where mm -hmm. it's just the guy is too smart for you. So this is great. See, like they're, you know, one thing I always laugh at is uh, is uh, in movies. Computer working a computer system is like, they it's like it's like really laid out, like, you know, like the most techno yeah. computer system. It's like and just lay it all out there, but there's all yeah. your fields to measure. And you're talking about when, yeah, the passage of time. There, he's basically putting in the, the a general amount of time of when the attack happened, when this guy would end up going to get the prosthetic fixed. Yeah, certainly they haven't established exactly what period of time the year is taking place and what what right. month it is but as we get to the, the parade the later parade. on that tells us specifically so i imagine so this guy's giving some clues they, mm -hmm. so how are they piecing this part together that's what i'm trying to figure out well the, well you you got this guy who's who's being gonna be brought up on some serious yeah. charges it's like I know that guy. Yeah. I can give you something so you can lay off me. Right. You now, cut me a deal. There you go. Of all things, like the guy who, the house he's hiding out and got busted. It's yeah. like, God damn it. The guy got busted. And it's just, <laughs> this is great. Yeah. So this is Julianne Moore, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, so ER had just started in this year. Yeah. 93. They're about, yeah. So ninety three. This was uh, this was definitely yeah. So it was big for Chicago hospital drama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This I love this scene. I'm a big fan of this scene because it shows that he is a doctor. Like he's in, in his yeah. heart, he couldn't let that go. He couldn't yeah. not help this kid, yeah. even though he risked blowing his cover. Yeah. You know that that's to me is fantastic. Yeah. It's like oh man, we're gonna we're about to see it all. Unfold here, but yeah. one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's like he knew what he was about to do. He's gonna risk himself here. Yeah, but uh, but it's it's great. So now they're oh yes, now they're here. But it, and, and and as we go along, and ends up informing Gerard more about this guy. It's like, how, how can this guy really be a killer if he's going out of his way to save people's lives? Yeah, the roller skates guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would fly in a uh, in a hospital. I don't think so. I was a little like, I don't think that's gonna happen, really. <laughs> I 
God, I, I, I love this. I love this scene. Mm. It's it's man. It's and he, you can see little little jitters. Like he kind of he kind of has a feeling of what it probably is and what he can do to help. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So now he's he's got the reason to help. Yeah. That's that's fantastic. This is mm -hmm. so. See this little. Mm -hmm. he, he's even holding it like a doctor. I don't yep. know. Like there's certain like it caught her quality, off guard yeah. for a second. Yeah. What's the orderly doing looking at x-rays? Yeah. County Hospital. <laughs> Man, the little clues here. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Very, it's very cool. I like, <laughs> I, I just... What were they saying? It was a bus accident, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. Bus accident. Look at that, he's putting the orders in. Yeah. That's great. I mean, he's, he's talking to the kid. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep him invested. Keeping his mind off it a little bit. Yeah. This little kid grew up to be Drake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love throwing that into, like, old movies. Mm -hmm. Like, and that little kid grew up to be, you know, Jay-Z or something. <laughs> like, like, just throwing into random facts for, like, old movies. Look at that! Like, <laughs> like instruction given, and boom. And he had a perfect doctor's signature yeah, too. He did just a point. <laughs> Got no time. So now he's he he blew his cover here. You know he risked yeah. it. He, he risked but it. I like that little smile there. It's a little gratification that yeah. he's he's able to make a difference. Could still be the person that he, he he is. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Apparently, there, there was an extra subplot with her character that was supposed to be kind of like them two kind of getting romantic and everything. I, I felt like they were going in this way, I, but but you wouldn't it wouldn't have fit. Yeah, that's what the producers felt. The the filmmakers felt like you can't have this guy. Who's been convicted of murdering his his wife, having all these flashbacks back to her, then have him shack up some with some other woman and get involved with her? It just it doesn't it doesn't meld. It would not work. Yeah. That's it. See, he blew his cover at risk and yeah. he saved the kid. Yeah. And they tie it back in. Mm-hmm. This is like the chase, the <laughs> cat and mouse game, man. It just keeps going. You're getting closer. Classic shot. It's a little, it's a little bit of an odd kid. Like he, he kept the idea as Desmondo Ruiz. Ru Jose Desmondo Ruiz, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, really, dude? <laughs> like, I don't think you're going to pass for Jose Lu Desmondo. Here. Yeah. So here we go. This is, this is interesting. And then mm. she admits... That, I like this, though. I, I like how they... Does she know? She only has an accent, right? Julianne Moore. She's a British accent. I don't think so. No, I, thought I she think does. she's American. Is she American? Okay, I always I get yeah. her confused with thinking she has a British accent. Hey, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Mm -hmm. See, like that's a little flinch there. I fucking love that because it's like the guy is still. He's a good. He's what kind of murderer would do that? He's yeah. still a damn doctor. Yeah. You know. It, 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 does Mondo Jose Ruiz <laughs> yeah. that right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it just like again, he, he's he's like a he's so dogged about the whole thing. Yeah, it's like I, I, I if there's a detail out there that doesn't fit, he's got to he's got to figure out why it doesn't fit. Yeah, see, like he's he's confusing the shit out of him. Yeah, and then he see this. Yeah, why would he come here? Yeah. What what why? Why potentially expose himself? Well, this is why. 
This is an interesting. Uh, it's wonderful. It's it's so. For a guy like myself, I can't write a mystery with a goddamn. Yeah. To see something so well meticulously plotted out and everything has a organic progression, it's so satisfying to see that. Yep. And have such vastly intelligent characters at the core of it. Yep. You don't have to dumb other people down to make other people look smart. Right. The Chicago cops aren't dumb, but they, they, they got it in their heads very early on that everything everything fit with this guy being the killer they didn't look at anything else after after that's they right. had their heads set in that game that's it that's fantastic and that follows through to the end of the goddamn movie i love the um the, i forget the character's name which one the uh the, the woman she's on the fbi there oh. um she's great i said her voice especially watching lost mm. her voice is so Distinct as one of one of the most endearing parts of her character. Okay. Uh, her character again. Her name is a uh, Pool in the okay. in the movie. Agent Pool, L. Scott Caldwell plays her, but her voice mm -hmm. is such a such an endearing part of, of the mm -hmm. role, of her of her acting style. That sweater he's got on back there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that is a green river, yeah. And this was a. This apparently wasn't originally part of the whole film, but Andrew Dewey's like, I've got to have this in the movie. Well, yeah, it's going on. Yeah. There's the, uh, the Picasso. Yeah. That's how the Daily Center. Yeah, where the uh, Blues Brothers uh, had a, another pile up. Yeah, that's true. Bore right through there. Looks like he's going into City Hall here. Yeah. Classic shot. All authentic location. The whole oh. shooting this is fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I mean, they do it for all these different films, but like, especially for Chicago, when you want to double like Toronto for Chicago, it's like, no, yeah. you can't do that. Absolutely it doesn't not. work. Absolutely not. You got to keep it real. Yeah. Chicago has such a flavor of its own. And yeah. It's a, and su such a deep history with how it feels, how it looks, how the yep. streets are, the architecture. You can't get that anywhere else. A lot of, lot of real extras in this, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. these, I bet those are real cops, you know? Yeah, you're, probably. You're not doing it, you're just kind of walking into a thing and... Well, you're probably, have, especially in places like this, maybe you probably got... I mean, Everybody's it's a government there. building for right. crying out loud. they're already there. They're already there. They're probably helping with some security. Are you Irish? No, are you? <laughs> he asked the black guy, he's like, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> little pin there. Yeah. What idea is he using here? Where's your kibble idea? Uh, so that's a little, little convenient that she puts her thumb over the, the photograph. Yeah, no kidding. A little much. It's a small detail, but. Is there a jail at City Hall? I didn't think there was. I don't think so. No, an on-site jail at City Hall. That's. I don't know about that. I yeah. So I mean, I could very well. These, I doubt that. It was. It was seem very very odd. And then again, they a don't holding tell you cell it. type of thing, but it doesn't seem like it is. I they, mean, they don't only really say it's City Hall either, do they? Or do they have they said? They don't it? explicitly say it. No. Maybe there used to be a holding a holding area there. Mm. You know, they're very, but they're they're showing like this is an inmate jail. Yeah. Which doesn't really add up for City. Uh, yeah, Hall. I mean, no, everyone have it everyone's in the the. the Inmate outfits and everything, whatever you want to call it. You you might you very well could have. I maybe might be remembering this right, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Mm -hmm. I gotta look into that. There's Driscoll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I definitely, he's already like that. It's like this ain't the guy. Yeah, guy. It's definitely not the guy. Ooh, really. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely feels Chicago, man. He's ain't, been around. Ain't no cable here. <laughs> uh, watch the guy in the background. He's just like, man, what a waste of my like, damn what the, time. What the fucker? Yeah, so and, and like him, he's like, this guy just 
comes in and leaves in five seconds. Gives, That's he, very strange. He gives the eye squint, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. It. It's nice details. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, it's like we're in the same building, we're on the same stairwell. I mean, like, it's the cat and mouse game, you know? Mm -hmm. He's on, he's on probably the north stairwell, he's on the south yeah. stairwell. It's like... Yeah, and the, and the original idea was, like, they're going to have, like, a cat and mouse thing like right running here. running through the, different areas. That's of the, the shot, whole, right yeah, here. Yeah, this is, is it, this is it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, the original idea was like they're going to have like cat and mouse between like running through different rooms and stuff like that, but that's where the parade idea came in. That's it? Oh yeah. man, this is such a good... Yeah. What a shot, you know? Yeah. And this score, man, I, I just... I, I gotta get this score. This thing is phenomenal. Just the... When he's going up the other stairs and he looks back and he kind of... Oh yeah. Man, the double take. Well, yeah. Can, oh, yeah it, it, it plays... I mean, you saw him in a glance. The hair's different. Yeah. So it's not, it's an, again, details. Details make it a haul. That's great. And you can see, see the limp again. Yeah, there's the limp right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, the limp, it's like you almost don't notice it because you're kind of carrying it on from the from the jump. Yeah. You're like, oh, I might hurt himself in the jump. Yeah, look at that, yeah. that limping run. Yeah. That's got to be tough for him. He had a lot of movie oh, to film yeah. after that, you know? Yeah. Still a lot to go. Oh, this is great. Mm. They hopped up on painkiller or if I call oh. shot just to get him through it. Oh. You know? And you can see a lot, there's a, just a lot of people wearing the green. I love that. Also, there's a man wearing a blue coat waving a gun. <laughs> At a woman. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. That's so good. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. So good. Yeah. But like I said, it's, it's great they have all these extras. They're all wearing green. So good. The, the, the feed into the whole St. Patrick's Day thing. Yeah. This moment coming up here. I can never figure out what he's trying to trying to say there. I think he's like, son of a bitch. He <laughs> doesn't move his lips enough. It's all it's all it, it's it, all jaw. I think it was it's it's that it's like <laughs> like, are you are you still trying? Is what that face is. Like, are you yeah, really, are yeah. you really still gonna go for? Yeah. I got you by the foot. Yeah. Are you still gonna go for this? Yeah. You know. Well, it's like, it's like open the damn door. Yeah. <laughs> open the damn door. There he goes. He's so charismatic. But that that face of like it, it is that face. Of like, give me a fucking break. Like yeah. you're you're stuck it's and like, you're. <laughs> You're still trying? <laughs> I'm trying to get this guy. Open yeah. this different fucking door. Yeah. Yeah, this this whole thing was just like they they just went out with like a handheld steady cam and just followed the actors around. It was like just freeform stuff. Yeah, you know, take a take a hat, get in the parade. <laughs> it was it was actually a couple months before anyone recognized Pirate Harrison in the whole thing. That's great. So I mean it was it was really nice. You know, theater district there. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the theater McDonald's over there. Uh. Very well known. Rip out of the theaters and stuff. <laughs> well, they're trying to figure out what street they're coming up on. Is it Dearborn they're walking up? Egghead Software. Remember that store? Oh man, that's ancient. <laughs> Floor Shive Shoes. That's another one. Yeah. You know, jeez. God. <laughs> The city, the layout, you know, for the most part, is the same right here. Yeah. I think Citibank is even still there, which is the yeah. new logo. Gosh, old Chicago, man. It's good to <laughs> see. Well, there, there was a line of dialogue earlier when they were talking about the the lake being, the river being dyed green. Yeah, like, I saw that. Why can't they dye, dye it blue the other 364 it's days true. a year? People talk like, about it. <laughs> it's like you go there and the sun is like, this thing looks murky. It's still green. <laughs> the it's, dye it's, gone away yet? Essentially, it stays green anyway. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Look, yeah, look at all these mustaches and this Man. frizzy hair. This oh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's so Chicago. I mean, you're in the early '90s. You're coming oh, off man. the '80s. A little, still in that yeah. bit of a fresh, uh, fresh yeah. atmosphere. There it is. Yeah, it's great. What's that? Anybody just think? I know they, in the end they use a lot of mm -hmm. actual newscasters. I think Lester Holt's in this, I believe. Mm. From Channel 2. I believe he makes mm. some somebody from actual. News makes it like he's, yeah. he is. He is. It's weird because uh, all the little things they're 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 fake 
stations. Yeah, no 74, 6. We never had any of those. Yeah. Uh, he he looks defeated here. That's the look. He's like, yeah. fucking had the guy by the hook, you know, and I, he got away. Yeah. It's great. It's just, they got him on the hook, and mm -hmm. he's just pissed off, and he's like, man, I... I had yeah. the son of a bitch. Yeah. And now, yeah. now he's... Chicago cops are still all up in their shit. The face he's making is looking at, like, I'm doubting yeah. the guilt. I don't think he's guilty. Yeah. He's going through too much for a guilty guy. Yeah. Put you himself know? too too much in risk of getting captured to be a guy who's in who, who, who's guilty of right. what he's been convicted I mean, he, of. He's working so hard to prove a point. Yeah. And it's like, who works this hard, you know? Yeah. There we go. That's a shot for Great you. Great shot. A lot more skyscrapers in this town now. Gosh. Yeah. Glen Ellen, Illinois. So, uh, yeah. There. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Familiar for, for you. <laughs> I go to like 10 minutes away from there. He's having a beer. Like, he's give the guy a freaking beer. <laughs> yeah. Now, where is he now? What's, what are we figuring here? Oh, I guess that's, I thought he was yeah. in that house. Uh, this ends up being the Pullman neighborhood. Okay. Because I, I can definitely recognize this as cell side stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Look at that. The yeah, architecture is completely that. Oh, 100%. Yeah, and, and he sees the cop there. Should have shaved his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's too recognizable with that hair, I guess. Go bald, wear a hat. Yeah. But it, and this almost Pullman seems like. Pullman housing it, right there. Yeah. Pullman housing. Yeah. Oh. Almost seems like it's probably been a few extra days since the the, the parade stuff, because now all the dye's gone out of his hair. Yeah. Now they showed him walking out of like a, a hotel, like flea bag hotel. Again, you're wondering where is the money coming from now. That's what I'm wondering now. Mm. How is he surviving? He's got new a new co not new clothes on. What are we doing here for money? Yeah, I don't know how much money was in that wallet he he lifted. That's the thing. As a credit, I mean, I if it's he, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't be using credit card. But on top of that, traced too easily. his friend gave him cash, but you, you oh, didn't yeah, give, yeah. give him he that did. much cash. Yeah. You know, how much money did he give him? Maybe a few hundred, maybe, at, at, at most. That's what I'm thinking. Like, how is he getting by here? Hmm. So here we are. Yeah. Now, now we're looking. Now he's in a house of another suspected, suspected guy. Mm-hmm. Well, breaking and entering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's where it gets interesting, like the yeah. Like a little bit of a stretch with the brain eyes breaking into homes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I, the money thing is one area I think they left a little unexpected. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. There is your your killer. There's your clue. And the guy was a cop. Mm -hmm. Frederick Sykes. And that's it. Yeah. Now we've gotten down to the nitty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that that moment there's like the revelation I found the guy. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. There's your prosthesis. Holy shit, man. This is this gets interesting, you know? Yeah. Like when you're you're now you're now you're in that, that act of Yeah. Now you're this closing right in on it. This was interesting here when yeah. we started seeing the photographs. Yeah, things are just like piecing themselves together. Yeah. And seeing and, familiar faces. And the in guy there. was a cop, though. That's the interesting part. Yeah. He was a cop. And, and hang on. Here's mm -hmm. where. Now, I'm, I'm assuming the photos are dated a little maybe after Chicago Memorial Hospital. Like, they're dated after the, uh, the event took place. That's that guy, right? Yeah. Oh, there yeah. There's that guy. So they all like it's like he's see that scar on his on his chin. Yeah. So he's piecing the stuff together. I mean, what a what a heist this all ended up being. It's like yeah, look, it's like oh man, look at tax forms. He's mm -hmm. got he's got the shebang here. That that Lynn McGregor. Here we go. Mm-hmm. His receipts, payments. Mm-hmm. See now we're getting the fly. I like when they do flashbacks yeah. to remind the viewer. Again, th th this is so much why how they structured the beginning of the film so well. Yeah, is that you 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 got 
a straight narrative at the beginning of the thing, but now you can add in more little added pieces to what you had at the beginning. So you're not completely seeing all the same footage again. You're getting extra little bits mm -hmm. as the memory fills in. Yes. This is great. For a I think mm -hmm. that was it. There it is. He got it. Right there. He knows everything. Yeah. I, lo I love when those revelations. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That's Kimball. They got him there. <laughs> Lad. Lad. <laughs> sometimes. Not your view. No one sometimes. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this to me was great. When he calls in. Mm -hmm. And it's like, dude's on the phone. Oh, awesome. Uh -huh. This is great. Yeah. That's, that's a nice reversal in that whole yeah. thing. It's like, yeah, I remember what I said, but remember what you did. South side. Yeah. There. I, I just love that because that, that feels like the, the character coming alive again. That's it. That he's got a he's, he's got the he's got a fo he's got the focus he's got the confidence he knows what the hell's going on now he he's a direct line towards something now that's it we got a car there now <laughs> right of <under> their nose <laughs> that's it head on in <laughs> and we go. He's still hauling. That's great. Because now Harris has got the old man run. Yeah, oh, for sure. It's like the bad hips or something, I don't know. Yep. They just got that. That's what, what happens. There you go, they're dusting their fingerprints, they're all in this guy's house. Perk 6. <laughs> X, 45 X Cup. Clones horse. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah, again, it's a great thing. It's like he's saying, I'm not here to solve a puzzle, but it's like, this is another piece to figure out why he's doing what he's doing, where he's right. going. Here comes, there's Mr. Sykes. Yeah. yeah. A little worry in his eye, like, wait a minute, <laughs> what's going on here? And it's, and it's great that, that uh, Kimball is kind of realize that this is the type of investigator he has on his ass that he's going to follow whatever trail that you put in front of him he's got his way all over 45 for god's <laughs> sake yeah andreas katsoulis i think yeah he, he died a good like uh 17 years ago i think he really? a, yeah. i think it was a heavy smoker gotcha he was, he was very much into there we go into that but definitely not 45 nah, give me a freaking break That's hilarious. That guy is not. I mean, kill, kick my ass if that guy's forty-five years old. <laughs> oh, Richard Kim, look at that nerve nervousness on his face. He was born in forty-six, so forty-six, and this is ninety-three. Mm-hmm. Not too far off, honestly. Jesus Christ. So yeah, yeah. This, 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 yeah. Nicotine gets there. Jesus Christ, he was yeah, he was only in his, his mid forty, yeah, yeah, late forties at the time. Yeah. He's a Greek actor. Yeah. <laughs> Great hairline. <though. laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh. God damn! I can't. I still can go over the age. Here we go. Cool 
Mexico. <laughs> it's a bad attitude here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he st yeah. that, the way he stares. He, he does it a lot yeah. in his movies. He stares and he answers like, very. Go about your business here. Let me see. Let me see what he wants to see them in their environment. Yeah. See how they're naturally going to act in a situation. Good, good actor, man. Tommy yeah. Jones, fantastic actor. He deserved the award here. Oh yeah. Build a camp right here. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. And it's great so much in this whole film that's like up to a certain point there's not really a, a, like a, an antagonist in a certain way. True. Because you're equally in, in, invested in Gerard and Kimball in this whole thing. That Very true. Neither one of them have vilified themselves in any type of way. You you see both their perspectives, what they're doing, how they go about it. No one's... Gerard's not malicious. He's not doing he's very matter of fact about the entire situation you also don't want to see either one of them lose right you know which is an interesting so, thing right yeah like one has to but you don't want to see but mm -hmm. you don't want to see either one of them lose yeah like they're they're not both of them are good guys yeah they're both out for a greater good yeah there's a sprite product placement right there <laughs> <laughs> product placements back then were a thing but they weren't as big as they are now now no. they're very blatant yeah Extremely blatant. Yeah, they're all CGI'd in the damn movie oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, they're, they're, it's a huge thing to have product yeah. placements. There, it's like, it might have, that bear well could have just been a Sprite bottle. Oh, yeah, I mean, and like, even like uh, when they were in the parade, it's like, I saw an RB sign in the background. Yeah. No one paid for that. Right. They no, were just yeah. there. The circumstance. Yeah. There it is. Here like, we go. Now we got. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is. This is, this is Harrison Ford fully in gear now, man. This is intense, focused, coming Lens. to get you. Lens is dead. <laughs> but still. There we go. See, you know, okay, he hasn't figured out that his friend is at the head of it yet. He's, right, he's right. got to go uh, visit... Uh, Jane Lynch's character, then he figures out that the the samples and everything were, were the doctored and everything after yeah. Lens was killed, so he that's when he puts it all together. Finally. More mustaches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love it when, when, when this sort of stuff happens, when when the G-Man shows up and just yeah. surprises the the, the, yeah, the, 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 the worried look on the other guy. He's like, well, yeah. get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, You're clearly in trouble. Show. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is great. Mm -hmm. Everything else now. Mm -hmm. What's no. his accent? Austrian? What is that? I don't know. I mean, in Living Daylights, he plays a Russian, but he didn't really sound very Russian. No, it doesn't sound very sure. Russian. Let me take a look while we're mm -hmm. while we're watching. Mm hmm. His name is Jaron Crepe. <laughs> Crepe. Where's he from? Amsterdam. Okay. Netherlands. <laughs> it's one of those great things. Like he, he, the character Nichols doesn't have any tells right. that he's lying about or anything, but Gerard's like this this guy. There's all this shit this guy ain't telling me. Yep, that's true. It's it's too easy. Everything is too clean of an answer. Very much. Yeah. Like it's very rehearsed in yeah. that sense, you know? Yeah. Ambulance said dailies on it. Great, like, 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 he's dropping all these clues mm -hmm. to these guys, and he's letting them know. Mm -hmm. And that's where Tommy Lee's doubt is coming in, you know. Mm -hmm. There it is. 
is. There's your That's a motive. Absolutely. Talk to me. Yeah. It's very nineties <laughs> phone. Yeah. Talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, this guy feels like a genuine local cast too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that charming guy. Yeah. That one, that one buddy. <laughs> again, again, you shoot the stuff in Toronto, you don't get the flavor of these actors. You don't get the Chicago actors. flavor. Absolutely yeah. not. He's even wearing a Chicago Jazz Festival T-shirt. Oh yeah, you'd definitely be down in that's there. The, that's a local boy, man. He's there. <laughs> Very mm -hmm. clean. He's very clean. <laughs> He's very yeah. Crisp. Gets a good shave with one with one yeah. hand. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> hey Rose, what's going on? <laughs> That's very I love it, man. <laughs> that guy's by a real cop. Here's your one line, pal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Distraction he got himself out of there. There is one like really silly draft of the whole thing, just in terms yeah. of the idea that like Gerard <laughs> hired the one-armed man be yeah. to kill the wife because she got involved with some investigation or something like that. It was really, really just, just hearing that sounds so ridiculous. Knowing yeah. how the film turned out. Oh no, kidding! This is just, no wonder that one didn't get made. Yeah, I can't even imagine it was going that way. Yeah, because I guess in the original series, the one-armed man was just a random burglar. There was no conspi conspiracy, no conspiracy? Or anything, apparently, which yeah, is well, hard to imagine. Well, for the sake of a show, right? I mean, you're talking, yeah. it was just like he was falsely accused. Yeah. Here, you have to wrap it up in two hours, so you have yeah. to at least have some yeah. hook. To, you can't just be, it's not, the guy's not going to keep running, so yeah. yeah, you have to yeah. finish it up here. Yeah. So there we go. There we go. This is where he figures out. I never noticed that scar on his chin before. Yeah. I don't know if that was made for the movie or what. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Lynch was kind of like, well, I've already got two scenes of this whole thing, but i got to get to work with Harrison Ford. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, she blew up. At, <laughs> oh, she, yeah. She didn't really get blow up till like, 2000. 2004, maybe, almost. Oh. Where, like, she started getting involved with all the, uh, with that whole, that whole crew. The, um, yeah. oh, what's that guy's name? I want to say Paul Fee, but it's not Paul Fee. No. Oh my God! What's that act? That director? You know the one who does all the uh, Judd Apatow, maybe. Judd Apatow. Okay. The, but the Judd Apatow crew, when it got okay. when she got in with that whole crew, mm -hmm. is when she really started blowing up. Yeah. Totally. Um, the uh, the late tens, or you know, like, like mm -hmm. oh, maybe oh seven to eight or something. Whenever role models really was her breakout okay. feel. Well, she was in the game for a while though. Good, good for her. <laughs> Shit canning my stuff. Well, there we go. Here's, here's your hooks now. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost mm -hmm. like they, they killed him off, too. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Gotta bury all the evidence. I'm gonna see. For what, what was it? Seven and a half billion dollars. Yep. So crazy, thing. such a bit part for what is now, was now a big, a you know, she's a big mm -hmm. actress nowadays. Mm. You, know, you see in that moment, he just kind of like deflated that. It's like the guy he trusted the most is the guy responsible for all this shit. Yeah. So like, How, how's this for something, something great? The, the guy I told you who was, um, who played the, uh, mm -hmm. The prison, uh, the prison transport cop who was oh, the, a diehard. Mustache. Mustache has four hundred and five credits. Christ, to this, this guy's been an every. He's an well, everyday guy. Well, if you're playing these small supporting roles, I mean, he's a working one, one week in, one week out. Yeah, but he's, he's a consistent working actor. Oh, God damn! What a bunch of big movies though. Oh. The, guy, the guy was in a ton of huge movies. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing that stuff. God, what year was Dire of the Vengeance? 93, wasn't 95. it? 95. 95, okay. Yeah. 
we'll be getting to that later this year. Nice, yep, yeah, we sure will. I guess I was wrong. He wasn't entire though. He looked just like the guy though. Hmm. But this guy has a ton of ton of stuff. Here we go. Piece that. That's downtown. They're in the loop. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So funny how far how far down Jay Lynch's credit is in this mm. movie. Go up the L train. <laughs> yeah, it's the loop for sure. Yeah. Yeah, she's one. Of, I mean, she's one of the biggest actresses of the of the millennium. You know, it's crazy. Mm. Just looking at some of her credits. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Kimball called Sykes. Get Sykes in here right now. Mm -hmm. Wait, Kimball called Sykes. I'm trying to remember what that was all about. We'll get to it in a second here. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. It 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 forms up. Yeah. They, you know what's interesting too mm. is the brown line has, has Kimball. I think I'm sure they did it on okay. purpose. The brown <laughs> line stop is Kimball. Okay. Yeah. Look at this jacket. Yeah. Great jacket. Oh. Yeah, he's freaking out. He's, <laughs> he's just on the front page. So good. So good. Brown line pretty much looks the same. This is great though, right? Yeah. The guy looks at him he's like, wait like, a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> he just gives him a. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, it's a Thursday now, so it's a couple, at least a couple days since the parade. Yeah. It's always happening on Sundays. True. The di time flies in this movie. They they, they jump yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah, happen to be a cop. Give me a break. That's I ride the I ride the CTA. There's <laughs> no fucking cops. Rarely around. is there a cop on it, which would be nice to have. But rarely is oh, there yeah. a damn cop. Yeah. Well, here's here's this scene though. Yeah. Oh, there's the Harrison Ford stare, man. I don't want to be on the other end of that. Transit unit. Hey, you're not riding the trains. I know that. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. Classic, like, henchman pull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cop's looking at this, right? Like, the guy in the other car can mm -hmm. see the gun here. Well, yeah, and the probably, people, probably no, not. The people not are paying attention. Yeah, no. No, the people aren't even paying attention. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if it does stop it just like so drastically like that. <laughs> I don't know. There yeah. go. I guess I'll throw a punch. Take out the other guy's other arm. Come on, he's a one arm man for God's <laughs> sake. You can't take this guy out. <laughs> there we go. Come on, he's a one arm man. <laughs> There we go. Get some revenge for the wife. Yeah. Pistol whip him. I like that. He's gone. <laughs> Take the guns. Jesus. Usually these kind of scenes, they film late, late at night, right? When their trains aren't running anymore. Probably, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> like the flinch. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> That's great. Merchandise Mart stop. Okay. Oh, no, Clark and Lake. Clark, sorry, Clark and Lake. Similar, uh... Covers, yeah. Clark Lane's okay. a busy stop. Everything comes into there. See, we do. I don't know. That guy really practiced that line. That's the building I work in right there. That tall, okay. That's yeah. called the Aon Center, which was called the Standard Oil Building at the time. Okay. 
This is a very busy stop, Clark. Mm. Every tra- oh, like, yeah. nearly every train comes into there, just about every line. So you got a lot going on. Yeah, right in the heart of the loop. It's great. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Right under the tracks. This is the stuff I see every day. Mm. <laughs> on the mailbox. And I like this whole thing where he dumps the guns. Yeah. And it's a safe place. Yeah. No one else can grab it. That's true. We're going to Balbo Station. It's not. It's Clark and Lake. They showed you a sign of that. That's an. Mm. That's an odd little. Mm. Unless I. If I'm wrong, they, I don't know if they ever referred to it as Balbo Station. I highly doubt that. Well, pro- probably because they want to. There's a Chicago Hilton. Where, is that that anywhere close to? Yeah. One of those stops. It, it, well, yeah, it's not far from there. Actually, it's walkable up to it, so mm. you can get off at of Clark and Lake and walk to the to Hilton okay. for sure. It's all right there. So, yeah, yeah, because it is, it's right across the other side of the river from the merchandise, mart, yeah. right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Here we go. This is, this is a nice little stop the presses moment coming up here. Mm-hmm. Definitely filmed right there at the that location. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like at this point, you could see Tommy. Lee, he's on his side, mm-hmm. right? He is on his. Yeah, side. He's, he's figured it out. He knows who the bad guys right. are. Right. He is on his side at this point, and yeah. he's like, "I just need to get him to almost protect him now. I need to right. save him from himself at this." Well, point. right. Well, because they said, "Well, they think he killed the cop. Right. CPD's going to rip him apart." And 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 the whole thing is like he knows Nichols has lied to him. He knows yeah. Sykes has lied to him. Right. The only guy who hasn't lied to him is Kimball. Is Kimball right. exactly? That was a little odd error. He put he had twenty four, yeah, twenty five lit up. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's an uh, that's very distinct on camera. They could have caught that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you would think that Hilton's still there, still mm-hmm. intact. Yeah, I like that Balbo station. That's, that my OCD is bothering me on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Balbo station, Clark and Lake. Yeah. <laughs> That guy right there, he's total, he is, he is so signature to Chicago, couldn't be anything else. Arrest us. <laughs> yeah. This scene gets a little wild. We, yeah. You know, the hotel scene gets pretty a little wild here. <laughs> Get your big action sequence coming up here, but this is the, you're coming into the climax of the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is awesome. I, the, there's a shot right coming up right now, everybody keep an eye, right when he, right now, or he's mm-hmm. walking in. Mm-hmm. And just that shot of like, I know it all, I got mm-hmm. it, and this is my, I, he's, this is his one chance to reveal mm-hmm. it all, mm-hmm. and he's just gonna like, I'm gonna shoot my shot here, this mm-hmm. is it, right here, the face he gives of like, mm-hmm. you son of a bitch, yeah, you piece of shit, and right, and, and when they lock eyes, it's oh great. yeah, the contempt, yeah, farms folded. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just this mm-hmm. shot. This this scene is is yeah, great. right about here. Yeah, awesome. Uh huh. Oh, it's so good. What oh, what gosh, a good yeah. what a good stare down. Yeah. And, and the way he's walking, oh, I, right. I love this scene yeah. because of how this guy's so nervous. Yeah. Well, yeah, because after all, all the stuff, Gerard has kind of come after him with with Sykes like, the, and Lens and the, everything. So it's like the wave coming through here. He, he knows so much that he's so. Kimball's found something. Yeah, here it is. I love that he doesn't wipe the blood off the, yeah. the corner of the mouth. Though. It's really nice. There it is. Yeah, there it is, yeah. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, he wants to rip his face off. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Oh man, I was I always hope that he he revealed it. You know, like he said it to the crowd. Oh, you know, he kind of does. To, to here, a I point, guess. yeah. He says it loud enough. Mm-hmm. The gasp! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I guess everybody is able to hear this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, I guess. It 
Got everybody thinking on this one. There we go. Yeah. So now we're here. Yeah. Now we've arrived. Prudential Towers uh, mm -hmm. logo is different now. Mm -hmm. Gosh, how much how the little things change? Oh. It's what got me about this is how tough he is. Um, <laughs> yeah, his uh, Nichols. Like, Nichols. Like Nichols is like some huge tough guy. Look at him. he's like yeah. he's like barreling strong over here. Yeah. yeah, I mean like come on, you're wearing a full suit here for God's <laughs> sake. How ex how accessible are you with your strength? <laughs> well, they're showing him like he's some big tough guy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I like how much he yells in this. Mm -hmm. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Mm -hmm. He was the cool guy, you know, Mac, yeah. the jeans and sport coat look. Yeah, I like cool, it. Like man. It. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this monster battle going on the roof of the building <laughs> between two doctors. I just like I didn't like how Nichols was, was like he was like Tougher than he should have been, you know. What yeah. I mean, like he withstood a fall. Like, come on, yeah, man. a little bit. Yeah, it's like, come on, you're you're just you look like a like a punk. You know, you're not some tough guy. You're like a regular <laughs> dude. <laughs> just a regular like middle aged guy. Like, what mm -hmm. are you supposed to be doing here? Yeah. Well, he goes to the gym. He, he's got yeah, a, I guess he's he got a racket ball, the tennis ball, tennis club, and all that. Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> now is he fighting through the limp here? Oh, yeah, he's a little, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's still going. This is a heavy scene, though, action wise. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is probably. Actually, this was filmed on the roof, wasn't it? Yeah, this is all practical. Yeah, that's great, man. Oh, there you go. So you got conflicting reports. Tough guy, Chicago cops. Yeah, you take him out. Gosh, that skyline just changed. Mm. You know, I just see it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there you go. Can't risk these guys. Now we're safe. No gunfire from the helicopter. <laughs> All right, so now he's got a little advantage here. I can't believe, like, Nichols keeps fighting him. It's like, just give up. <laughs> Wouldn't be as cool, I guess. Yeah. Now you're going through, you're going through glass ceilings and everything. Harrison was doing some good action stuff in the 90s. I mean, he went, to, he did this in 93. Yeah. 97 at Air Force One. Yeah. You know, that was a big action movie where he's playing a grown-up a grown uh, older gentleman but in a yeah. heavy action movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I love Air Force One. I'm a big <laughs> fan of that. Yeah. What else? Yeah, I got a couple other ones. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on well, yeah, Like I said, Jack Ryan movies. Yeah. This is good. Like, we're still not done. <laughs> you know? <laughs> This guy, it's like, just give up for your own good. You're done. You got your ass handed to you today. <laughs> Man, what a... It's it's a great story in terms of, like, it's the guy, It's it was the guy you trusted all along. It was your friend all along who did it to you. You know, it's like he, that's the one who turned on him. The friend. <laughs> Almost a little Die Hard in here. Yeah. <laughs> this scene reminds me of that, yeah. that one scene in Die Hard, you know, that one, yeah. that one empty floor. Yeah. And well, I mean, Harrison was, was so great at playing the vulnerable hero. Mm -hmm. He was never an invincible character. He always had. That's true. He always had complexity, depth. He always he, he was always playing the wounded hero. Even in Star Wars, you don't think about it. He always yeah. he was he you know he had no special powers. He yeah, he was he, 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 he was a regular guy. 
but for the most part, Han Solo was a little. He was an immature kind of guy, a lot sure. of very cocky and everything. But like he, didn't, he didn't have the force on his side or no. anything. You know what I mean? He was just a regular dude. I do love that there's there's a constant battle between the U.S. Marshal and CPD. You know, yeah. it's like it's like they're both both good guys, but they're but they're both trying to take it in a different way. Because we yeah. saw that one scene where um, he was like, if you see a good shot, take him out. Like they're looking to just yeah. end the guy. Yeah. This guy wants he wants justice. Oh yeah, again, because I mean they they think he's the one who killed the cop in the sub in the L train. Right. So it, it, all bets are off there. Then. Right. And they're not thinking it's Sykes because Sykes is former is a former cop. So why why would they think that? Right, it's Sykes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt this scene went on a little too long. Maybe it did. You know, because you had already had such a big climax on the roof. Yeah. You know, it's like you kind of you end up slowing it down here by going here. It's like, <laughs> did you really need to go in the laundry on this? Like. It's real slow. It's real. I mean, but that heavy action yeah. on the roof. You could have ended it on the roof. Yeah. You know that's the thing. I don't feel like you don't need to go here. They already called yeah. off. They had called off the cops from shooting. They had. They had. Really wasn't much else to. It's like okay, cool. I just, yeah. You're limited to the roof here already. Yeah. Going into this now, it's like what do, you know. It. it I felt it, it brought it down the energy. But, A little bit. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I get it. The, these. These kind of. The cat and mouse, the hiding behind between shadows yeah. kind of thing is always a a favorite of people in movies. You know, where where's this guy? Where is he talking yeah. from? Who's saying yeah. this? The bad guy still lurking around. These uh, these things are always great, but watching it now, you're kind of like, yeah, it does slow the movie down for a second here at the end, especially when you're at the final stage. Mm hmm. There you go. That's all you need to mm -hmm. hear. Mm-hmm. Now he knows he's fucked totally. There it is. Did they did they did they reference to borrow the car early in the movie? Did they? Oh, that was just it was just. It, it was probably in the opening sequence there okay. when when they're at the the banquet. Took them out with that. Yeah. Why, why was there like a beam just hanging? <laughs> what was the purpose yeah. of that beam? But yeah, it's, it's the whole thing like okay, he he gave his car keys to Nichols so yeah. Nichols could use the. The car phone to call sure. Sykes, give so, Sykes the keys, yep. let him into the place. Isn't that crazy? How much was? But did they, they say that they, would they, Nichols come up to him in the early part of the movie, like, "Hey, can I borrow your car?" For I something? think I think there was there. Maybe we missed. I must have missed that because the, you would think they were prominently playing to that end. That's good. Like yeah. after everything, it, it, it's Kimball saves Gerard from getting shot. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's not a heel. He's mm -hmm. he's a good guy. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. The music here is perfect. Yeah, this James Newton Howard is one of oh, the best composers out there. So good, right here. He did a phenomenal job on this film. That's it. <laughs> there it is. That's it. So what all he needed. The verification. <laughs> yeah, a little. You got a slight chuckle there at the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just walks away from him. Little, 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 little hope, little glimmer in the eye there. Yeah. He finally got some guy convinced the most dogged guy possible. Yeah. Is that Lester? And that's not Lester. It's the other guy. He was on. He's uh -huh. an actual channel too. I forgot his name though. There's Sykes. <laughs> that's it. That's great. <laughs> 
You got a weather. You got a deadline. Play the weather again. That's, such a great, that's so good. That's so Chicago. That's a great thing. You, you get the weather every ten damn minutes. Yeah. It's like you have an amp now. I don't yeah. even don't need that cap all the time. This is great. This is fun. Yeah. There is a. I think for either tree, there's there's a there's somebody amongst the extras that end up being. Uh, more popular actor. I forgot. Who, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's this scene or what. Somebody turned into something. There was some mm-hmm. extra in this movie. Well, yeah, I forgot that. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not Lester. Is it Lester Holt? Maybe it is Lester Holt. I forgot to get. He is that black gentleman with the mustache. He is. He definitely was a Chicago uh, newscaster. Mm-hmm. I like this little touch yeah. of humanity here. Like you're not a criminal. Mm-hmm. Ice pack for him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's this, looking at him like... And this is good, this this line coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at that. It's like we just we made peace, that was it. Yeah, wrap it up. That's awesome. It's, like, it's such a good end. Yeah. You know, it's such a good wrap up. The yeah. movie. Like, it ends so perfectly. I mean... Look yeah. at that, just Michigan Avenue before yeah. anything, huh? Rondi and Joe Kosala. That's also yeah. the two guys. Yeah, the film made over like three, like three hundred sixty million dollars. Oh, Nominated for Best Picture. Worth every penny. Uh, it's a great movie. Nominated for Best Picture, Best Score, Best Editing, Sound, Sound Effects, Mixing. It only won the one though. Just, just, just for Time of These Jones. Great movie though. But considering you had, actually had two Spielberg movies released that year. What was the other one? Hey. Schindler's List. Oh, Schindler. Yeah, that's right. Schindler's List, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park's going to take the sound Oscars. Oh, yeah. It's going to take John Williams' uh, they, score Oscar, so... They didn't stand a chance, otherwise. Schindler's going to take Best Actor. It's going to take Best yeah. Picture. Didn't, definitely didn't so. stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, like, whenever it would pop up on cables, like, I, I can get invested in it. Immediately, yeah. Lester Holt, it was Lester Holt. Okay, cool. And Jay Levine, he's still on TV, right. I believe. So it was Lester with the mustache. He shaved the mustache later. Yeah. And Jay Levine was—I didn't catch Jay Levine, but he's—he's he's a very, <laughs> very famous one too. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it's it's su- such a uh, the the perfect intersection of all the talent that's involved in this thing. Yeah, absolutely. The screenwriters, the director, the right producers, yep. the right actors, the the right composer, everything. It's all just everyone. Sometimes you just have everything hit in the right place at the right time to get a really fantastic film. Because you don't really get films like this so That's much true. anymore. I mean, these days you'd have to be like a David Fincher movie or something like that to really get the attention this got. That's true. So it's like, we could talk with Steve, what, he knows his Oscars, all that stuff, but that that complexion of things has changed and always always changing in different directions and what they want to celebrate, but the fact of the matter is, I mean, this type of thing, I don't even remember what the what the budget was on this. No, I can't, I, whatever it was, you know, they exceeded, they, I mean, they definitely blew it out of the water yeah. and made their money. <laughs> That's for no, sure. Yeah, yeah. No doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That score is so good. Like the way it's playing right. now in the ending credits. I, I love it. It's a great score. Who was it again? Who was the composer again? James Newton Howard. James Newton Howard. What anything else he, we would know him for? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know so much, but I mean, I know he's worked with Hans Zimmer a couple of times on things, but I mean, okay. he's just one of those like prolific guys who've just been there for like 30 years doing wonderful stuff definitely knows the game yeah. knows stuff really well yeah. yeah this cost 44 million and it made how much 360 about 360 million dollars <laughs> so, i mean not, they, not a bad return yeah. on investment huh so it's like i mean the, it, the studios these days they don't invest in films with that that mid-range budget type of stuff anymore yep. which is a sad thing because you can create fantastically compelling films yes like this with solid stars uh, a director who's just been very reliable every step of the way with everything he's done. Yep. And you get a, a producer who's going to champion everything very strongly. Now, now, the second unit, you have a second unit director. What are second units 
meant like what what is their so, well second you usually a lot, a lot of things smaller you, scenes and they'll, stuff? they'll usually end up doing a lot of the action sequences you'll have like a specialized second unit director who knows how to handle that stuff and block it out and plan it out and stuff especially in, like the james bond movies they'll have a very strong second unit to handle all the big set pieces you got the fireworks going on the yeah. navy pier fireworks yeah. happening yeah it's really cool. nice or in some places they'll, they'll just do like little insert stuff here and there gotcha. that go off do establishing shots or have, have stand-ins uh, have any big name directors ever been second year directors like well, start I'm, off I'm, I'm sure i don't know offhand interesting to pitch that but that uh that does it huh yeah that was a fugitive 1993 yeah. warner brothers I in blu-ray look good oh look wonderful yeah I, th I think th I think this th think is the first commentary we've done on on something that's been nominated for Best Picture. There we go. We're, and we're Steve wasn't here because he, he said he didn't have much to, to say about the film. He's not, he's not that familiar with it. So really, I'm surprised. It's a Chicago yeah. movie though. It's a, you know we're classing ourselves up a little bit. We're going to yeah. the Oscar nominated yeah. films now, <laughs> not just sticking to uh, <laughs> act garbage. Yeah, like Academy Award not... nominated and winning actors, yeah. and everything. So I mean, we're uh, we're classy Her guys. Harrison but... never won one, did he? Never. That's a shame. No, he never got it. He's that's a, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he only he was ever in a position where it he was in a. I mean, he's been in standout roles, but never in like an Oscar type role, you know. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, in between the action stuff, you do stuff like a regarding Henry or Witness or something like that, which would be very strong dramas. Regarding Henry would have been claim. the one. Yeah, so it's like it's kind of kind of kind of unfortunate. Was he nominated ever? I don't know. He yeah. might have been. I'm curious. I'll leave leave it in the comments, I don't guys. Know. If, you, if you know, leave the yeah, comments. Yeah, if, if you know, throw that up there. Or if there's a particular role you think you really really should have been a winner for him, let me know too. Yeah, I'd, I'd like, to, like to hear that. Yeah, what do you think? What well, he should have won for? I mean, yeah. he's a great actor. Yeah, as we know. Well, like I said at the beginning, he's one of the great American actors. Absolutely. And because I mean, again, he he never had an ego about things, and he was very hardworking. Because he came up as a carpenter, and everything. Under like Coppola, yeah, he was doing set carpentry I heard, and everything. Yeah. So I mean, he, he was very much, very much up from the soil of blue collar America. So it's like he always maintained that mentality as he went forward to be very meticulous and very much involved with everything. Even though he's not like credited as a producer, right? He almost acted like a producer on this film. You know, he was very much involved with everything. He uh, he was not. I'll just put it out. So I looked it up. But I still want to hear what people say yeah. about who, what he should have won for. Yeah. He was nominated for Best Actor in a Leading Role in 1985 for Witness. Okay. Didn't win. Nominated for... he won The only award he's won is the Cecil B. DeMille Golden Globe Award. Okay. But he was nominated for several Golden Globes. Never won anything. Hmm. BAFTA. Never won the BAFTA. Oh. Never won the ARP. He's never really won any awards. He won um, the Science Fiction Award for... Uh, Episode looks like it's episode seven. <laughs> he won that, okay. but uh, God, he's he's nominated for a ton. He's never won anything. Um, well, it's like I've always said, and other things like subjective gold, too on the gold, awards. Gold, also, it's like like I always say about Michael Mann's Heat. It got nominated for nothing, right. but the fact of the matter, people still talk about that film. 20 plus years later, as influenced directors sure. making other stuff on there is like. That's more valuable than a gold statue. Uh, absolutely. People can forget about who won what over the years, the, but the fact if you if your if your career has that legacy, absolutely, and you've created that many classic films and you've made an impact on audiences, that's a lot more valuable. That's the true value of a, of a film. Because it, despite him not winning anything, he maintained a star power for a long period of time. No doubt about it. So, no doubt. So, thanks guys so much for sticking around with us with the fugitive and. Uh, you're here from Trent again when we get to Beverly Hills Cop 3. We got three to do still, yeah. so we'll be there. Yeah, talk so, to you then. Thanks much, guys. Take care. See ya.